What has become of this city? There used to be laws, justice, not anymore. Crime is out of control, cats are missing, and townspeople are being victimized. Oh, hey, who pooped on my porch? What's going on with you? Whoa, whoa! We were supposed to protect those who couldn't protect themselves. Get off my car, you little pecker! Now superheroes are torn apart by political differences. We are two sides at war. But war isn't going to save our city. Time travel is my only hope now. Myths tell of ancient times. When a new king united a kingdom torn apart by a powerful stick. Hi, hon. Shut up, man. There's no time to waste. I have to go back, change the present if I can, and find this cat. And in doing so, Perhaps I can change what has happened to all of us. should be happy that he's made friends in this town so quickly. We came here to hide. More friends just means more trouble. You're being paranoid. You need to lay off that stuff. It's changing you. Oh, lay off. It's the one thing that helps me relax from your stupid shit. Oh, hey, whippersnapper. Didn't see you there. Your friends are downstairs, kiddo. Get out there and play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mommy, stop crying, sweetheart. I just have something stuck in my eye. <laughs> Your friends are at the front door, honey. Go outside and play. <laughs> my lord, the filthy Moorish are attempting to overtake Koopa Keith. You gotta get inside, my liege. You are our only help. My lord, come on, dude. What, you just moved to town and you get to be king? Well, I think you're a little pussy. Punch that more in the face, king. Oh, yeah, he can't talk to you like that. We can't stop him. Ready the guards of the dark court. Wow, did you see that? The king's amazing. His powers are unparalleled. Well, let's go. We've got to get inside Carmen's house. Stand aside or die. We're going through that door. You can't. Oh, yeah, why not? Because everything in front of here is lava. Oh, dude, no way. All that is lava? Yep, everything from here to here is lava. You can't cross it. Shit! Come on, let's get inside. We can't. They're seeing everything in front of the door is lava. Oh, that's not fair. What do we do, the king? What do you do now? You die. Release the dragon! A dragon? We're fucked. Kids. Clear. As I was saying, you can't stop the king. He is all powerful. What a fighting. Oh, shit. Clear. Oh, my God. 
he defeated the dragon. No freaking way. That kid's amazing. Wow, did you see that? The kid's amazing. Maybe there's a way in through the garage, my lord. If there's a way in through the garage, the king will find it. Yes, only the king can find these secret way in through the garage. If, I mean, if there is one. Yes, only the king with his infinite wisdom and strength can get past this impassable barrier. Well, King Douchebag is such a skillful warrior. Did you see how he moved that ladder and used it to climb up? He truly is the most powerful king in all the realms. Oh, God, he's amazing. Speak, Bard. What happened to the stick of truth? The wizard had it thrown into the ocean. Lies. You shall feel the wrath of the Moorish. Unhand him, you heathens. Release the Bard or you'll have the king to deal with. The king? They say he can slay a dragon with one blow. That's right. And if you don't... Uh, wait, wait, whoa. Where is the wizard? Uh, I thought he was with you guys. Now we got a distress signal to come help him here. <laughs> Wizard is gone. My name is the Coon. I'm from the future. Dude, we said we're not playing that anymore. Yeah, we're all split up. What's the point? This is the point. In my time, there is a massive crime wave and missing cats. I knew my only hope was to assemble the team. Hey, you can't switch games like this. Where's the stick of truth? Shut up, Kevin. This isn't about some dumb stick. There's a cat in trouble, and it's the key to finding the crime syndicate new to our town. In the future. Crime syndicate? That, that sounds too heavy for Coon and friends. Well, what do you want, Clyde? You want the fucking Freedom Pals to find the missing cat? Get the $100 reward and make their superhero franchise more popular? Fuck the Freedom Pals, dude. That's right. Hoopsikins! There's a loud ringing coming from your basement playroom. The Coon Alert! Come on, Coon friends. Go get your stuff and report back to the Coon Lair. In the future, Coon and friends assemble. Sorry, guys, you can't play with us. We're playing superheroes now, and you guys are dorks. Nobody asked me if I wanted to play superheroes. We could all go to my house and sit around, staring dejectedly at our hands. I've been thinking about joining a gang. This might be just the kick in the pants I need. Oh, did you get locked out? I'm afraid little Eric put a lock on the door to keep me out. I'm sure he has the passcode written down here somewhere. Yes, officer, somebody appears to have put lava in front of my door. Well, no, it's not hot, but my son told me I will burn to death if I try and cross it. Uh-huh. Oh, yes, he did tell me that if I step on a crack, it would break my mother's back. It won't. Fuck. You. Mom. Maybe we should go to Raisins and see if the waitresses know anything. That's not enough, Mosquito. We have to act fast before the Freedom Pals can. A hundred dollar reward. Do you know what that could mean to our superhero franchise? That cat looks pretty old. Maybe it just died in the gutter somewhere. Human Kite, do I have to remind you that as of right now, Freedom Pals have a hundred followers on Instagram? We have six. The five of us and Billy Turner, who's a ginger. This is the key to finally beating those fuckers. But where do we start looking? That cat could be anywhere. We need to split up. Mosquito, take to the air and check out all the city parks. You got it. Mosquito away. Human kite, see if the cat is stuck up a tree somewhere. You've got the storm drain, Super Craig. Super Craig. Fast pass, I need you to use your superhuman speed to get to the mayor's office and tell her we're on the case. Don't worry, Coon. You can count on fast pass to get there. Excuse me. Super Craig. Super Craig, this is Coon. Do you copy? Super Craig, the fuck are you? I repeat, the fuck are you, Super Craig? Oh, wait. Now the security system isn't working? Dude, what the fuck? Ordinary citizens aren't allowed in the Coon lair. We're playing superheroes now, and you aren't a superhero, new kid, so fuck off, okay?
<laughs> All right, look, you can watch us play superheroes as long as you don't get in the way. Make yourself useful. Go grab me the Stephanasy device. It's over there. Well, that took long enough. Stephanasy device active. You really want to be a superhero, huh? Play with the big boys? <sighs> well, maybe. Maybe you can be useful. Have a seat at the table, douchebag. Let's see, mosquitoes, ABLs. Jesus Christ, are these even in a human language? All right, in order to play superheroes, you have to have a superhero persona. Then you can fill out your character sheet on Coonstagram. Do you have a Coonstagram page? Oh boy, you're not even on Coonstagram, huh? Well, I guess I can create one for you. Fucking unbelievable, let's see. So the first thing we need to fill out on your character sheet is your class. Brutalist. Speedster. Since you're a newbie, you can only choose between three for now. A speedster, like the Flash or Quicksilver. Okay, douchebag, but now, we need to find out what terrible thing in your past drives you. You see, douche, all superheroes have a compelling backstory. It's from that backstory that their powers gain meaning. Let's take you back to when you were just a child. You lay awake that night. Like so many other nights, you couldn't sleep because you knew you weren't like the other kids. You walked to the mirror. You walked to the mirror. Over there, the mirror. Just, okay, just walk up. No, not there. Not, God damn it. You looked in the mirror and you felt alone. And that's when it happened. A loud noise. You swore you could hear your mother calling for help. You left your room. Out in the hallway, you saw two intruders in front of your parents' door. You had to stop them from hurting your parents. You knew you had the power to stop them, so for the first time, you called upon your speedster powers. As a super fast speedster hero, you bent space-time itself to spring into action with super speed. You moved in closer to the intruder to deliver a quantum punch. Once his atoms returned to their original positions, the intruder realized what he was up against. Damn, we weren't expecting a superhero to live here. Desperately, the intruder struck our hero. Take this! Emboldened, his fellow intruder moved into the fray. You don't scare us, superhero. But the intruders were only moving closer to their demise. You vibrated every subatomic particle to become an unstoppable high-energy body. Hey, what's the kid doing now? Once charged, you became empowered to use two attacks in the same turn! First, you gave the second intruder a taste of your atom-smashing quantum fist! Get my atom! With both intruders weakened, there was nothing they could do against the hero's final strike, a supersonic dash! A supersonic dash! Kid's too speedy! Let's get out of here! With the intruders soundly defeated, you thought you were safe, until a third massive intruder entered the fray, bigger than the other two intruders in bed! Ah! <laughs> I just flushed one little shit. Here's one more! Before you could react, he swung his gargantuan fist into your small body, doing critical damage! Exhausted from your double-edged charge, you could only watch as he continued to pummel you! Can't run away from this! You were hurt, yes, but the intruder had made a critical mistake. He pissed you off. Summoning the last of your strength, you tapped into your ultimate ability, Hyperspace Fury! <laughs> nice. He was just too speedy. And so you beat them. All seemed to be okay. But then you finally reached your parents' door. And what you saw when you opened that door changed your life forever and led you to fighting crime. You were too late, because when you opened that door, you saw... You saw your dad fuck your mom. Wow, that's a pretty heavy backstory. You fight crime because you never forgot the night you weren't in time. And you saw your own father, the man you trusted, fuck your mom. It's like a ripple in time you can't ever change, isn't it? All right, now that you're a superhero, I have a mission for you. I need you to go out into town and try to get as many followers as you can on Coonstagram. It's the only way our franchise will survive. 
can't get this mailbox open. Huh? Hey, you, you got it open. You're the real deal, little superhero. A, a selfie? Sure, kid, let's do it. Okay, nice. Okay, I guess you're popular enough to selfie with. such a thing it's just so mean hey kid you know anything about this somebody's keying my wife's car at night it's happening every night I thought it was just one of you damn kids but well here come here take a look at this whoever's scratching the car is also leaving notes I'm just scared it's a jilted lover or something you won't forget me that easy I thought we had something I'll tell the world about you bitch Listen, I'm sick of having to buff this shit out. If you can catch whoever's keying my wife's car tonight, I'll follow you on Coonstagram. Trust me, you want me as a follower. I'm a pretty big deal in this town. Hope you brought me something good, Billy. I need a Jimmy from my Peter, Billy. Can you get me a condom? Your grandpa's not getting any younger, Billy. I need those rubbers. No way, Kurt. Your follower count is way too low. I gotta protect my hashtag brand. Ah, I see you've made it to the Palace of the Clouds. That's home base to Human Kite. Perhaps you can find him inside. Who the hell are you? Really? You sent a newbie to my distress call? You're such a dick, Coon. Sorry, kid, but my problem is too big for a rookie. A few days ago, there was an anomaly in the universe. Another version of me, the Human Kite from an alternate dimension, showed up here and is destroying everything. Right now, it's upstairs in my room. I don't think anything can stop it. Human kite from another universe is behind this door. I can't fight him for obvious reasons, you know, alternative universe paradox shit. So you are going to have to take him out. You've got to really kick his ass, dude, so that he wants to return back to his universe on the East Coast. You ready? All right, go get him. Uh, zoom. Oh, hey, Kyle. I'm big. Who's your friend? Did he come to play with us? All right, me from another universe, it is time for you to go back to your universe! What do you mean, Kyle? We're a team, remember? I'm not from another universe, we're like best super pals. <laughs> As you can see, he is the one running around giving the human kite a bad name. He was sent here to destroy me and weaken my powers. No, no, I came to spend two weeks with my cousin and wanted to play superheroes. And then he said, okay, what superhero do you want to be? And I said, I want to be human kite. But he said, you can't be human kite, I'm human kite. And I said, well, why can't we be human kites together? So I went to Aunt Sheila and I said, I want to be human kites together. And she told him he had to do what I said because I was the guest. Remember? I'm sorry, me from another universe, but it is time for you to learn that playing superheroes is too painful. New kid, you must now destroy my alter ego. Oh, Jesus, we're gonna fight? That's right. If you really want to play, then this is how you do it. Well, all right. Anything to make me and my cousin more alike. Prepare for battle, weakling. I haven't done a whole lot of sparring. Is this a no contact thing? Full contact, not sparring. Oh, I'm afraid that's impossible. I didn't bring my pads. It's happening. Get him, new kid. Cousin Kyle, we can beat him if we join forces. Yeah, I really want to, but parallel universe rules say I can't. <laughs> ow, ow. Oh my, there's a lot of decisions in this game, aren't there? You could not play. That's a decision you could make. Oh, don't be silly. Oh, you guys, time out. My vertigo is starting to act up. Jesus, come on, dude. <laughs> hey, take it easy, Tiger. I bruise very easily. Okay, I think my inner ear fluids have stabilized now. Uh, that last hit didn't count, right? I'm undoing that damage, okay, Kyle? Phew. That's some classic alternate universe bullshit. Hold on, I need a timeout so I can use my inhaler. Phew. Oh, Jesus. All right, here we go, my super ultimate power. Get ready. Are you ready? Oh, Jesus. Okay, Wrath Kite from an alternate universe. Yeah. Oh, oh, Jesus. I think I might have 
injured my hernia. You had enough? All you me. Yeah, the superhero stuff really hurts. I better go back to my universe. Oh, you're leaving? Dude, that sucks. Yeah, I'll be going back to my universe now, human kite. I need some camphorphenic for my ear because I got a scrape on it by being farted on. Dude, I don't know how to thank you. From now on, call on me whenever you need help. Look out, butt lord. Those are sixth graders. They're the most vile, evil beings known to superheroes. You guys are stupid. Everyone knows Keeper's mom has the nicest boobs. Dude, shut up about my mom's boobs, bro. Why don't you... When I finish kicking your butt, I'm gonna kick your stupid frog's butt. Oh. Frogs don't have butts, they have cloaca. Oh. Ew! Ah. Yeah, ow. Have your boyfriend massage that for you. These updrafts have recharged my eye lasers. Human kite is ready. Uh. Ow. Please don't die, new kid. Wow, you really beat it. You saved me. Wow, nice work, new kid. You took down a sixth grader. Keep it up. Oh, don't talk to me, conformist. A selfie? Are you kidding me? Get out of here! Go away! Are you a conformist? I can tell. I hope all the likes on your post make you feel whole inside. Conformist? This town's going to shit, like even more than usual. So we figured we'd try this black magic spell we looked up online. But Henrietta's stupid brother stole the sacred tome. We need to do the ritual. So we're screwed. If you could find that tome, kid, well, that'd be pretty goth of you. Greetings, citizen. It is I, Super Craig. I'm sorry, but I cannot assist anyone with their problems right now. Super Craig can't find his guinea pig. Go tell the coon that I'm not playing until I find Stripe. He's not just a normal guinea pig. He belongs to me and my ex-boyfriend. That's right, Super Craig is gay. I'll bet Stripe is down in the basement again. I'll stand by the stairs and keep him from escaping. You do the rest, butthole. Be careful. This is probably the most challenging bit. Oh, sweet. Those might be handy. You're welcome. Look, there he is, in the vent, way up high. Oh, almost. Do it again. Whoa, there he goes. Follow that guinea pig. Quick, hit that box with your thing. Whoa, shit! I can't believe you just did that. You're so good at this. Wow, that looked like it required so much skill. Use the power of your ass to overwhelm his super sensitive spell. Yes, Stripe, a brilliant rescue. But it wasn't just me. We have Butt Lord and his sickening asshole to thank. You did it, newbie. If you ever need help, you can count on Super Craig. Stripe is the best superhero partner a Super Craig could ask for. Ah, yes. Who wouldn't want a selfie with the Craig of Steel? Stop! New kid, stop! You see all those little red Lego bricks? That's lava. You try and cross lava, you die. Don't even touch it. Wait, this, this doesn't even make sense. Who would put lava there? <laughs> Take that, Coon Fred. Professor Chaos. That's right, Coon. I have strategically placed lava throughout the town. I can't make it too easy for you. What good is the world without a little chaos? <laughs> okay, turn it off now. We'll deal with chaos when the time is right. For now, we have to keep our eye on the prize. Coon, out. Ah, there you are, butthole. Being a superhero is a little harder than you thought, huh? It's okay, you totally suck, but I can't help but feel sorry for you because your dad fucked your mom when you were a child. Come this way. I'm gonna teach you about artifacts. You see, most superheroes augment their abilities with specialized equipment. You see this? It's a strength artifact. You'll find things like these all over town. The trick is to equip them into your artifact slots. Go on, 
Give it a shot. You'll find more artifacts out there during your superhero adventures. You can even craft your own. Just remember, with great power comes great chicks and money. I think you're ready to take on those sixth graders now. Go give them hell. But Here, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Just throw a rock at it. No, I get to throw a rock at it. Hello, shitty kitties. Where are you? Just throw a firecracker instead. Nuh-uh, those are expensive. Give me the rock. You pussy. Come on, light that shit. No, I'm throwing this rock. Throw something, you asshole. Hey, it's that little fourthy again. All right, fourthy, time to teach you a lesson. Uh. Are we really going to take on the sixth graders? No mercy, guys. Sure, invite all the fourthy friends you want to this ass-kicking. More ass for me. The wind brings it with justice. Humankind is here. Man, we kicked some sixth grade ass. Okay, that was pretty badass. We make a good team. All right, that was sweet. Wait till it gets on the internet about how the Coon and friends beat up four sixth graders. This is great for our franchise. Kind of sucks for you, though, new kid, because now the sixth graders are going to be coming after you. You probably should have done that. That was pretty stupid. Kano, go and get our franchise more followers. Remember the Wonder Twins? I remember I love the Space Monkey. Yeah, remember? Remember that? Remember when Wonder Woman had an invisible jet? Oh, I remember that. I remember that. That's raisins, new kid. Mosquito must be inside. Get in there, but do not be tempted by their amazing wings and hot bitches. Hi, welcome to Raisins. Just one of you today? Well, come right over here, cutie. Sorry, I only follow psychic superheroes. Sorry, I'm only into brutalist superheroes. Yeah, I only selfie with Karate Kid superhero over here, hon. One of our raisins girls will be right with you. Isn't he just the cutest thing? He sure can eat a lot of wings. <laughs> yeah, so so then I flew into the sky and I beat up all the bad guys. Wow, I didn't know mosquitoes could be so tough. Yeah, well, ever heard of the Zika virus? Another plate of wings, cutie? Sure, just put them on my tab. Big spender. Hey, beat it, kid. These are my women's. What superhero are you? Super, wait. Oh my god, the mission. My fellow superheroes. I've completely forgotten. Back away, temptresses. Mosquito knows what you were trying to do. Uh, what are you talking about, kid? The raisins girls are mosquitoes kryptonite. You gotta get me out of here. Uh, well, okay then, here's your bill. <laughs> I think not. You tried to charm me. I will not pay this bill. You have to leave a tip, asswipe. They aren't going to let us go without a fight, kid. Let's do this. <laughs> Mosquito is coming with us. No chance. See, Mr. Mosquito, we told you everyone else in here was a loser. Here's some losers now. I can't leave now. I got a pitcher of lemonade on the way. Let's see, what would reduce these fools to cinders? Oh, I know. Wrath of Kite. <laughs> Who would do this to a raisin girl? You deserved it, you evil temptress. It's my fucking turn, yeah. I am out of bucks again. I wanted to order a lemonade, but I guess it's too late. Come on, this is our chance. Oh, those witches are my kryptonite, and you must have saved me just in time. I'm forever in your debt, but, hero, what is your kryptonite? Dude, you can't be a superhero without something that you're powerless against. Any particular phobas? Any emotional hang-ups? I mean, come on, there's gotta be something. Look, it's okay, I'm on your team, but, kid, you can tell me. You no, know, Mosquito must be off. Call on me if you should need me, coon friend. Oh, hi, you're the new kid, right? Oh, great, thanks for coming. Have a seat. As your counselor, you can talk to me about anything, okay? Now, I understand you want to talk about sex. Okay, see, I'm highly trained in um, uh, sex issues, okay? And you don't have to be afraid. Okay, new kid, it's, it's really simple when, uh, when you want to talk about your sex, you simply, you can start by simply saying, you know, I'm, I'm a boy or a girl or other. Uh, 
other? So you're saying you're neither a boy nor a girl? So you don't believe you have a gender? Okay, can you just hang on a minute? I need to call your parents. Just take a second. Oh, hello, this is Mr. Mackey, the school counselor. Yes, hi. Um, I have your child here in my office, and, well, uh, your child has just let me know that he, uh, or they identify as being gender neutral. Oh, you knew that? Okay. Well, no, it's fine. It's just uh, I believe everyone was under the impression that, that they were a boy. Okay. Yeah, no, that's that's great. That's great to know. Uh, I think I can really maybe be of help from here on out. Uh, thank you very much. Okay, bye-bye now, okay. Okay, well, this is a shocker, new kid. But there's there's nothing wrong with not identifying as a, a binary gender. You can be whatever sex you want, okay? Even if it's none, that's fine, it's fine. Just be careful, okay? Because there's, there's a lot of people out there who don't accept you for what you are, and then you're going to have to deal with them, okay? So, uh, but come see me anytime. It ain't one of them gender neutrals. We don't take kindly to your types around here. Let's welcome this thing to our town. I'm gonna punch you straight, just like I did Dale that one night in 94. If you actually read the Constitution, you'd understand it's my patriotic duty to Ouch. fuck you up. That settles it. Beating you kids up was definitely the right decision. America. Love it or get your ass kicked, socialist. Ow! You okay, human kite? I, mean, I don't even want to fight these guys. What if I get contact drunk? Don't be scared, bug boy. Just a little taste of your future. Are you sure that was really necessary, Mosquito? Oh, it was necessary and delicious. Nice move. I watched the whole thing unfold like a multi-night TV miniseries event. Because that's how fast I am. Don't get bummed out, bum lord. Just give me a minute to drain these corpses. Oh, jeez. That just did, I didn't mean that. Hey, butthole, you're doing great. Really quality character sheet stuff happening here. I've got a super secret mission for you. Head over to the new taco shop on Main Street and buy me a taco. Kim out. Well, hello, new child. I haven't seen you before, but you come at a crucial time. South Park is sliding into moral decline. Someone's stealing our cats. They're TPing houses. Okay, maybe it's not full on Armageddon yet, but we do need a hero. Not to make the hard sell, but do you see yourself as a good person? Well, I can understand the confusion, but there comes a time when we need to choose our path. Will you find Jesus and take the righteous path? Or maybe you'll walk the middle way. Let's not talk about the third alternative. I'm hoping you're part of the solution, not the problem. Take the first step, my child, by entering this meditative chamber, which will allow you to confront your deepest fears. Face your fears, new child. Face your fears. Your dad fucked your mom. You afraid of the dark? Snakes? The color blue? Oh, hey, I'm in your imagination. Just a friendly Catholic priest who would like to get to know you a little better. Yeah, that's right. I'm totally in your imagination, too. About to give you a shoulder rub. Ever imagine you'd feel something like this? Let me adjust the lighting in here a bit so we can get some visuals with that. Oh, I guess this one likes it rough. No complaints here. All of God's children are deserving of his love, so just hold still. <laughs> Hide and seek, huh? Do I get a kiss if I find you? Don't you want to go to heaven with me? Almost ready to cover you in God's love. Oh, who wants to hold hands and sing Kumbaya with me? Don't be shy, there's no reason to hide. God damn it! I 
can't put a child in a dark room for two minutes without you bastards showing up. Well, you're definitely going to hell now. Get out of here! That's not what the Queen Spider says. I'll go say 10 Mel Harry's. Well, gosh, I feel just awful about all that. Tell you what, a rabbi friend gave me this macaroni picture. In times of trouble and tribulation, use it to call upon the prophet Moses. Good luck on your spiritual journey, my child. Welcome to Freeman's Tacos. If there's anything I can interest you in, well, you just let me know. Freeman's Tacos is completely craft your own. You know what crafting is, don't you? Just open up that crafting menu and we can get started. Congratulations, new kid. With an enchilada and a burrito, you've crafted an enchirito. That's the first time anyone's ever done that. And what the hell, have a few more recipes. They might just save your stupid ass. Nothing left to do now but document this moment in human history with a selfie. Okay, let's never do that again. And just one more thing. They say that some farts are so powerful they can actually bend the fabric of time. You be careful out there. New kid, you've done a decent job so far. Come back to the coon layer. I think we should advance your character. Coon out! Ah, new kid, come, take a seat. All right, well, how's it going out there? Okay, good talk. Uh, well, listen, I think you show some potential, and uh, I'm going to upgrade you to somebody's sidekick or something. Congratulations. I just maybe wanted to talk about your superhero character a little bit. Um, your character sucks, to be honest, and I think I'm going to let you do a class. Let's pick another ability to add. So what kind of skill set are you looking to add to your repertoire? Ah, Elementalist. With power over, you know, the Earth and stuff. Okay, I think those two will work nicely together. But now we're gonna need to change your backstory, too. So let's go back again to that fateful night. Back when you were little. You did lay awake that night. But the reason you couldn't sleep was because you wanted to make the world a safer place. You walked to the mirror. You looked in the mirror and wondered if anyone would ever love you. And then you heard a noise, but, but it was a baby crying. Out in the hallway, you saw two guys attacking a helpless baby on the floor. You had to stop them from hurting that baby, didn't you? You knew you had the power to stop them, and so you called upon your newly discovered power. You had to stop these thugs in their traps. You started by entrapping the biggest in an ice prison. Ooh, ooh. Ensnared by the cold, the intruder could only watch as it turned past him back. Hey, you can't just take a man's turn like that. Yeah, who do you think you are, kid? The intruders approached you. Though little did they know, they had set themselves up perfectly for a sand trap. <laughs> I think this kid has some kind of power over ice and earth. Impossible. Oh man, I finally get to whack this damn kid. Feeling focused, you shrugged off the blow and readied your ultimate attack. Summoning the powers of ice, water, lightning, and earth, you unleashed into the intruders an elemental onslaught. Oh, there it is! Yeah, yeah, whatever. Anyway... And so you beat them. You swept the baby up in your arms to take him somewhere safe. And then that's when the unthinkable happened. You saw your dad fuck your mom. And from then on, you had to live with the fact that because you were busy helping a baby, you couldn't stop your mom from being fucked by your dad. That's heavy, man. I'm really sorry. I know you probably want to know why. Why your dad fucked your mom, but those are answers you'll have to find for yourself. Cooning friends alert! Cooning friends alert! Seriously, guys, alert! Alert! The Cooning friends alert! Mrs. Coon, what's happening? It's the Freedom Pal! What have they done now? Just get to Main Street! Hurry! We're coming! Coon! Ow! Well, new kid, looks like you might be needing those newfound powers. Follow me! This way, butthole! Toward the bus stop! It's a quicker trap!
My coon sense is on fire. Freedom House is on the move. Confrontation is brewing. Yes, this way. Keep going. Towards the bus stop. Man, escort missions are the worst. Ah, uh, God damn it. So close. Head towards Main Street, butthole, and gird your loins for battle. Yes, a little further. We were supposed to be a duo, remember, Twig? Yeah, I remember. So when I walked out on Coon and Friends, you should have walked out with me. I like Coon and Friends. Because you had your own movie. Thank God you're here. They're really going at it. Super Craig had to have movies before Wonder Twig was introduced. It made no sense otherwise. Your whole group makes no sense. Because you're a traitor, Twig, and now you're with a group of super traitors. This was started by you. By people who thought there should be preferential treatment to certain heroes. We aren't the ones who walked out of the fucking franchise, Mysterion. Eric, you must listen to me. Right now, I'm speaking to you telepathically. Get out of my head, Timmy. Your franchise is going nowhere. Face the truth, Eric. You guys are kind of douchebags. He just called us douchebags in my mind. He did? All right, you son of a bitch. Motherfucker! Good friends, deal with these assholes! From the sky swoops justice! Prepare for the incredibly annoying sound of my buzzing! Satisfying! Super Craig to the rescue! Nabu! where the bad guys regret their life choices. Good job, new kid. You're really getting the hang of this. Hey, wait. What about Coon? Oh, shit. Come on. Coon, what happened? Timmy got away? He... He completely raped my mind. You okay? No, seriously, you guys. He fucked the shit out of my brains. Uh, I grabbed him. We fought for a little bit, but his, his mental powers are too strong. So we did all that for nothing? Not quite. I got Timmy's cell phone. You did? There's sure to be a lead on that! Let's get this back to base. Super Craig can analyze it. Ah, oh, there you are, Budhome. All right, let's get to work. Dude, you gotta keep Mosquito away from those Raisins girls. If he relapses, that shit's on you. What have you found, Super Craig? Timmy's phone has a bunch of notes in it. Something about a girl who has information about all the criminal activity in town. What girl? It just says, find the girl with the dick tattoo. What girl in town has a dick tattoo? I don't know, Mosquito. But the Freedom Pals must think she's the key to finding the missing cat. If the Freedom Pals find her before we do, they'll get the $100 reward. We cannot let that happen. We have to stop the Freedom Pals from having a sweet franchise. At all costs. Then we have to find the girl with that tattoo tonight. Fast Pass is right. We all have to sneak out of our houses tonight and search the entire town. What do you say, new kid? Are you up for it? If you want to be a coon friend, you have to learn to communicate. Yeah, who let this guy join us anyway? Go easy on him, you guys. He's had a tough life. When he was six years old, his dad fucked his mom. What? I'm sorry, friend, but it's time they learned your tragic backstory. Butthole doesn't trust anyone because his dad fucked his mom and he couldn't do anything to stop it. That doesn't make any sense. I know. How could the person you trust do that to the only other person you love? Carbon, everyone's dad fucked everyone's mom. Huh? That's how it works, stupid. Our dads fucked our moms. Oh, right. So does that mean your dad fucked your mom, Cam? Huh? Yes! My dad fucked my mom! That's why I'm here! Don't steal his backstory, dude. That's not cool. You're so fucking stupid! Every human alive on Earth had a dad who fucked their mom and- Stop, stop! This is not what's important right now! We need to find the lady with the dick tattoo! Yeah, let's get home so we can prepare for evening missions. Let's go, coon friends! He's such a fucking idiot! It's okay, calm down. I'm afraid you'll have to deal with that kind of bigotry your whole life, butto. When people don't understand, they lash out. I'm going to let you be a sidekick tonight to one of the coon friends. Go home and sneak out after your parents are asleep. I'll fill you in later. What are you doing even talking to the school counselor? Why'd you answer the phone? Have you lost your fucking mind? Our child felt the need to go talk to the school counselor. Doesn't that bother you at all? So you told him the truth? Yes, I said we were aware of our child's gender issues. You dumb bitch! You'll ruin everything! I don't have to listen to this from a stoned-out pothead! 
I need a drink. Sure, drown your problems in Chardonnay, you stupid skank. Oh, hey, whippersnapper. Have a fun day out playing? <laughs> well, I'm exhausted. Gonna get ready for bed. Dinner's on the table if you want it, punk. But then straight to bed, okay? Pothead. Alcoholic. Sweetie, I just want you to know that whatever happens, Mommy always loved you. Good night, sweetheart. That time, that's when the creeps come out. But unfortunately for the creeps, the other thing that comes out at night is a key. with the power of diabetes at his control. I used to be a simple elementary school student, but then one day, a freak science accident turned my diabetes into superhuman strength. All right, sidekick, we're supposed to go investigate a girl who might know the location of the missing cat. Follow me. Fuck a bitch. Let's see how you like this. I am Captain Diabetes, and this is my faithful sidekick. Oh, okay. Well, move out of the way, huh? I need to go buy some more beer. I'm sorry, but Captain Diabetes cannot let you drive. I'm fine to drive, okay? Get out of here. Hey, give me my keys. You are in no condition, sir. I'm fine, okay? Look, wait, look, look. I'm fine, okay? Give me my keys, please. I'll return them tomorrow. Give me my fucking keys, you little shit! You think I can dance with this? Let's go! Take care, psychic. Even debilitated, this is a dangerous foe. I'm not debilitated. <laughs> hey, I almost spilled my drink! Wait, why are we fighting again? I've made a citizen to rest of your case. Give me my fucking keys! Good. Take it easy, you shit! Oh, hey, the wife needs me to pick up some feminine products, so please... Whoa, 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 how'd I end up over here? <laughs> Why, you got a disrespect, bro? Hey, you kids want me to pick you up some candy from the storage? I can't believe I did that without falling. I <laughs> Get those keys right after this short little nap. The shortcut's up there in the attic. The coon gave us permission to use it. Sometimes, when I have too much sugar, I get really angry and strong. That's one second. This is humankind's secret base. Farts make me angry. The coon says it's because my mom farted when she gave birth to me, and that's why I have diabetes. I, I don't think that's why I have diabetes, though. I think it was a gift to help fight crime. The shortcut is through that window. I don't have my own secret base. Well done, sidekick. This shortcut will take us right into the heart of downtown South Park. Come on, sidekick. Do not be afraid. The fearless hero and his sidekick descend into the dark night, ready to strike down evil and bring peace to the city. You don't think people get diabetes because their mom started doing sidebars, do you? I, I feel like Coon made that up to make Captain Diabetes feel insecure about himself. As you can see, sidekick, at nighttime, South Park is quite a different place. We've got to get into the Peppermint Hippo, to the town square! <laughs> Best band in the fucking world. Oh, man, that's pissed in my pants. Yeah, our country music rules. They sit and seem pulled in by the lure of this fortified. Hey, no cutting. I die by the rage, will do just a trick. Oh my god, here it comes. Yes, so much sugar. Insulin. We need insulin fast. 
And I am back to normal. You see how masterfully I have learned to control my diabetes. Follow me this way. Here it is. Here's where we're going to find the girl. There are sure to be unsavory characters and lots of boobies inside. Come on, let's go inside. Hey, beat it, kids. 21 and over only. Stand as high, citizen. It is I, Captain Diabetes. I must speak with the ladies inside. Get out of here before I fucking throw you out. What to do? Alright, you fucking ask for it! No titties for you! We can't force our way in, sidekick. It seems we'll have to use our brains instead of our brawn. Hmm, there must be another way in somewhere. Great detective work, sidekick. Now we just need a way up there. Oh, of course! Stand aside, sidekick! Take the one with the speech impediment. Come on, let's get some dances. I was thinking we could just go in there and talk for a little while. Yeah, first we get dances, then we talk. Oh, okay. So, have you gentlemen ever had dances from a girl with a penis tattoo? Hey, we didn't come back here to talk, baby. Yeah, no talking until you finish grinding on our chugs. Oh, all right. Okay, sidekick, you know what this means. Taking up the VIP room. What the fuck? Oh no, stop. Let's, let's just talk. Let's just talk. Okay, chat time. Chat time? Aw, oh, man. So, what kind of work do you guys do? And have you ever danced with a girl here who has a penis tattoo? Why do you keep talking about a stripper with a penis tattoo? Yeah, yeah, Classy, that's her name. Her name is Classy? Yeah, Classy with an I and a little dick that hangs off the C which fucks the L out of the ASS. Of course, hence the tattoo. We have the name, new kid, come on. What are you talking about? This is the worst VIP experience ever. Yeah, all I did was get farted on. You ain't going nowhere. Ha-ha, I am the ordinary stripper. I am Captain Diabetes. What? My sidekick and I simply used our powers of disguise to extract information from you. Hey, you won't get away with this, Captain Diabetes! <laughs> oh shit, my boner is weighing me down! Yeah, all I did was get farted on. Dance? Anyone like a dance? <laughs> oh, oh shit, I think I sprayed my dick. I know a strip club that only has one dollar symbol on Yelp. 
night out there be sure to tip your waitresses and maybe buy a drink for the dj next up on the main stage we've got a little bit of hot sauce coming up your way let's give it up for esmeralda that's it the dj calls the bitches names and then the bitches come out of that back room nukin we need to find a way to distract the dj i got it gin and tonics always make my mom pass out if we can make one and spike it with something really strong he'll be out for sure go make that drink sidekick all right, guys, we got a special treat for you on the main stage. Please put your hands together for Destiny. All right, someone finally bought the DJ a drink. That's really nice of you. That went down really good. The DJ sure does appreciate it. Oh, oh man, I think someone farted in my drink, guys. I'll be right back. Be sure to tip your winters. Great work, new kid. Wow. All right, guys, put your hands together. Be sure to tip your winters. This thing's are about to get a little bit hot on the main stage. Please welcome Classic. Uh, that's right, guys. Let's get her on out here. That's Classy with an eye and a little dick to fuck the hell out of the ASS. Give it up for Classy. Hey, what you calling me out for? I ain't on stage yet. Wait a minute. You ain't the DJ. That must be her, new kid. Oh, shit. It's 5 0. Tops are here. After her. They after me, lady. Stop them. Nobody's allowed back here. Yeah, get lost. Stand aside, ladies. Captain Diabetes and his sidekick need to question that stripper. You want to get to her? You're going to have to go through us. Bring it on. All right, guys, this is your DJ back in the bathroom. Looks like we've got a special treat for you tonight. The two assholes that farted in my drink are about to get fucked in the face by our very own lovely ladies. Stand down, ladies. We're here for classy. Here comes our favorite flower of fellatio. Give it up for Fuchsia. Ah, yeah. Oh yeah, get that little fuck. Hepatitis is no match for the power of diabetes. Diabetes. Motherfucking cocksucking little brick. I'm gonna kill you. You girls go ahead. I gotta powder my nose. Open wide, bitch! Yeah! I got my stank on that one! Oh, hell no! I ain't getting mixed up in this combat shit! Did it just get a lot spicier in here? Oh, that's why it's Esmeralda! We need to get the classy before the stripper horde overwhelms us! Shame on you! Oh, you little bastards done fucked up! Go get him, Boote! Look out, ladies and gents, here comes the queen of creepies, the mistress of BDSM, your dominatrix dream come true. It's spontaneous Boote! Hey, honey, you ain't ready for this Boote. I'm gonna crush you in my booty cheeks. You can't hide from this Boote, honey. Ugh. Let Bootay give you a hug. Bootay! You tiny cops are about to die and go to booty heaven! Another beauty right to the death! Uh-uh, you'll never take me alive! We can't let her get away, Sajak! Hey, let me in, you asshole! The cops are here! What? Get inside! Go on, scram! I ain't afraid to use this thing. Come on, you kid! Into the restaurant! We just gotta lift that sign! Send the sign, psychic! It is time for Diabetic Rage! Yeah! 
Even my diabetic rage can't move this sign. <sighs> oh, God. <sighs> it's too much. I need my insulin. I need my... Oh, no. Oh, God. I'm out of insulin. You got to help me. I drank the apple juice, but I don't have any insulin. I'm going into diabetic shock. I'm... I'm dying. Oh, God. Mom. Mom, I'm dying. Somebody, please. Please. <gasps> You know what makes my fart super bad? Handcrafted Tex-Mex. Tex -Mex. Not just any handcrafted Tex-Mex. It's gotta be something extra special. special. You know what to do, new kid. I said, I said, you can't even go a day without scotch, you lush. I just don't get how these people can get high every... I mean, I'm sorry, but if you're sticking a cat's ass in your face, you obviously aren't happy with your marriage. Yes, I, I like a lot of today's special. The... No. There they are. Where's the girl? She was just here. You didn't see her come in? Uh, no, we were busy sinking our watches. No, we were looking at menus because Cartman made us order food. Fighting crime on an empty stomach is very dangerous, human cat. It's for your own good. Whatever. She couldn't have left. We would have seen her go out the front door. Well, but maybe she's in the back. Okay, you guys check it out. Call us if you need help. We'll be waiting for you with our breadsticks. Hey, come on, we need to get on this bus and the meatballs. That's These guys look dangerous, Dad Dick. <laughs> oh! How dare you treat the kitchen like a rippy dink tutorial? Stand back. The real superheroes are here, Nam. Yeah, us real superheroes are here to save the day. Coon on the prowl. Yeah. Okay, see you guys later. We're gonna go do some real superhero shit. Those carbohydrate crusaders were no match for the Coon and friends. Huh, sidekick? Classy must have gone this way, but the path is barricaded. I could easily lift this out of our way, but I can't use my apple juice without insulin to bring me back down. I'm such a mild-mannered superhero, it's almost impossible to push me into a state of blind rage. Except... Wait, that's it! Your farts, psychic! Your terrible farts that throw me into fits of rage! Of course! The coon wasn't trying to make me feel insecure when he told me that my mom's farts gave me diabetes. He was trying to help me unlock my true powers! We've got to get through there and get to classy, psychic. For the good of South Park. For coon and friends. I need you to fart on my face. Alright, ready when you are. We did it! The path is clear. It's hard for me to lose control of myself, but if we're ever in a dire situation like that again, Psychic, know that you can fart in my face. Holy guacamole! What is this? Oh, man! We gotta tell the guys! Coon! Now it's yes, 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 it's diabetes. We found missing cats. A whole room of them. Dude, he scrambles one of them? Uh, negative. None of them are fat and old. Then what about the girl? We're still tracking her. We have to find out what she knows. Get going. We're so close, I can smell it. Come on, sidekick. Hold on, sidekick. Sounds like there could be trouble behind that door. There's someone in there. Get ready. One. Two, Diabetes! <laughs> See, I told you the cops were chasing me. 
And you led them here, you stupid bitch? Uh-uh. Who you calling a stupid bitch? Do I look like your mama? That skin is a classy. These kids are cops? That ain't no cop. That's Captain Diabetes. When he was born, his mom fought it during labor, and it gave him diabetes that he uses to fight crime. That is not how people get diabetes. If they aren't cops, then we can shoot them. Along with this bitch, too. Oh, shit. Y'all turning on me? I knew I shouldn't have went into business with y'all Tony Soprano-looking motherfuckers. So long, Captain Diabetes. Let's see your diabetes save you now. Uh-oh. Ah! What the? I want my keys! I don't have your keys, man. Ah! Ah! Wasted on red wine. Red wine drunk is the worst drunk there is. Ah! Ah! Let's get the fuck out of here. All right, Captain Diabetes. This is it. Give me my fucking keys. You are in no condition to drive. Then die. You're being unreasonable, Mr. March. Let me call your wife. Leave Sharon out of this, you little prick. But... Uh-uh, that's not fair. Y'all can't be using your ass to speed up time and skip people turns and shit. Prepare to be shredded. Ugh. Oh man, looks like I bet on the wrong horse. This is the part where the bad guys regret their life choices. All right, I'm gonna take a cab. There! Nobody drinks and drives on Captain Diabetes' watch. Aye, aye, right, shit. Look, all I know is there's a kingpin trying to get new high-grade drugs out on the street. It's somebody trying to bring the Italians and Chinese crime families together and shit. Enough small talk. Where is Scrambles? Scrambles? We need this reward money for our superhero franchise. Oh, shit, y'all just want a cat? So then there's Cisco. He just some low-class asshole started working two months ago. He be talking all this shit about making money off the crime in the city because some big shot white boy be running all the drugs and all the hookers and shit, right? Okay. Uh-uh, but not me. I'm my own pimp, you know what I'm saying? It's like I got one investment in this world, and that's my pussy, and I ain't putting no mortgage on that to some high-paying nigga talking about trying to make more money off crime and shit. Classy, classy, I'm sorry, but what what about the cats? Oh, that cats? Okay, that's this little Asian freak named Yakibaba or some shit like that. He going around paying all these little sixth graders to take people's cats. That's fucked up. I think taking that pussy and, like, taking mine, you know what I'm saying? That's like criminal shit. Where do the cats go? I can tell you, but I ain't saying shit until I know I'm safe, you understand? These niggas ain't playing, and I need to know you gonna protect my ass. Eric Cartman, do you have any idea what time it is? This is a school night. Mom, not now. We're seriously onto something. You kids all get home now, or I'm calling your parents. Sorry, Mrs. Cartman. Please don't tell my mom. And who is this stripper woman? These cone friends offer me protection. Well, she's not staying here. Fine, fast pass, take her to your house. Okay. And now, the news program that starts your day off right. Good morning, South Park. Good morning, South Park. A new vigilante took to the streets last night and has apparently single-handedly taken down the Famboni crime family. Here with more is a midget in a bikini. Tom, I'm standing outside the Book of Day Fagaccini where the vigilante declared war on crime in South Park. Security camera footage showed a young person farting in people's faces on their balls. It was just terrifying. The kid came in and just, just started farting on people. It was out of nowhere, man. Maybe someone's finally standing up to what's wrong with this city. This new kid's a hero. The kid's a menace, if you ask me. How long before he or she kills an innocent person? How long before Daredevil becomes the Punisher? Huh? Three seasons? Three seasons! Police called to the scene found a treasure trove of illegal items that they claim might tie the Italian restaurant to a larger crime syndicate. This may be just the tip of the iceberg. Certainly chilling stuff, and there are reports the vigilante possibly had a sidekick? There was thought to be a sidekick, Tom, but further investigation showed it was just some little twerp with diabetes. Thanks, Midget, and of course, the question on everyone's minds now, who is the farting vigilante? This is going to make us look bad.
You fucked up. It wasn't our fault. This kid just came into the restaurant and started farting like there was no tomorrow. All you Italians are supposed to do is move the product. The Chinese and Russians do the rest. Everything has to be discreet and quiet or people are gonna learn the truth. That we put the product into people's drugs and alcohol in order to create more crime. You just keep doing your part in getting the cheese out on the streets. Or maybe I'll start dealing directly with the Russians. Or the Chinese. Or the sixth graders. Oh, man, what a great sleep. Yeah, I haven't slept that well in weeks. <sighs> so, you guys do anything interesting last night? Oh, no, you know, the usual. Just watched some TV and went to bed. Yep, nothing exciting in our b boring lives. Well then, I guess I'll just be seeing you guys tomorrow. You've got a big day ahead of you, new kid. Get changed into your superhero costume and wait for a message from the king. All right, bud lord. It's time for us to get the information we need from Classy. Any good superhero should know how to interrogate. Get over to Jimmy's house and find out what she knows. Keen, apt. Oh, it's you again. Sup, hero? Don't be farting in my face and shit. Hey, Fast Pass, one of your super homies is here. Oh, hey, new kid. The coon told me he wants you to question the witness, so go ahead, have at it. Go ahead, new kid, ask her anything you want. Oh, that's smart. Using the silent treatment can really make a witness a a antsy. I right, look, I know y'all need my help and shit, but I ain't talking to you go get my medication. Y your medication? Yeah, I can't think straight without my medication. You gotta go pick up my prescription, all right? Until you get my prescription, I ain't telling you little heroes fuck all nothing. Well, all right, fine. Looks like you got more work to do, new kid. But before you go back out in the world, I want to show you something that might help your crime fighting. Let's get up to my room, to bed. <laughs> All right, new kid. It's time to take your superpowers to the next level. Go ahead and stand in the DNA fibrillator. All right, new kid. Just stand still, and I'll talk you through this. That should do it, new kid. Hope you have a grasp of it. Now get out there and kick some b booty. You made a real mistake when you attacked us. with the wrong raisin sugar. Get them, girls! Everybody good here? Great! This is for all the ladies in the world who have to wear new tights. Stick you up my butt. Someone's about to get stuffed someplace dark and smelly. You messed with the wrong raisin sugar. Get him, girl. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? A thousand people just disliked the picture of me in ballet class on Instagram. I'm totally getting trolled right now. Kid. Don't worry, I'm unfriending their Instagrams exponentially. They won't be back for a while. You gotta be careful playing superhero. You can make a lot of enemies. Some boys think girls don't make good superheroes. But then, you know all about being excluded, don't you? Is that why your parents are hiding you? Because your gender doesn't fit in with the norm? You like to remain mysterious, huh? Fine. Look, you've got problems, new kid. Whatever you did last night got a lot of people's attention. Bad people. 
There's a crime boss who's been calling the shots here in South Park, and now that person is planning to run for office. Whatever you did last night scared him. I'm tracking everyone's Instagrams and Facebooks and will continue to cross-reference with Tumblr while monitoring Twitter and LinkedIn. If you need information, just know you can rely on Call Girl. Watch your back, non-gender kid! You are avoidable approaching an area with controlled substances. Step away from the door or you will be terminated. Too bad, new kid. Miners aren't allowed in a place like that. Of course, you aren't just any miner. Hello, young person. I'm the mayor of South Park. You must be very excited to be here. Well, all right, look. You might be able to help me. This new crime wave in town, it isn't a coincidence. Some group or someone is trying to make me look bad. The more crime goes up, the more people start calling for my head. Whoever is behind this wants to see me get replaced. I need people like you. Please, find out who is behind the crime wave in our town. My political life depends on it. The common folks can relate to me. I've been known to have a glass of rosé before seven. Yes, ma'am. New kid, this is the human kite. You know that little problem you helped me take care of? Well, it's back. Can you come to my house ASAP, please? In the backyard. Will you deal with him, please? Look, Cousin Kyle, it's that mean kid who beat me up before. Yeah, oh no, somebody stop him. Don't worry, Cousin Kyle, I have developed these super sensors which will make it almost impossible for him to beat us up this time. I have to stay out of this. Just please, please make him go away. Prepare to meet your doom, evil bully kid. This barrier represents the Red Sea, which you will be unable to part without Moses on your side. You know kites are really quite fragile. Oh no, my eustachian tubes are definitely filling with fluid. Ah, oh, now you've done it. <laughs> okay, okay, that does it. You guys asked for it. And now human kite shall use his Hebrew face to call upon the power of the wind. Hikmeo Shigina. Let the strength of the wind make my kite fly and... Oh, Jesus, it came off! Oh, Jesus, my kite just blew up into the tree, Cousin Kyle! Then give up! Don't worry, Super Buddy Cousin. Perhaps I no longer have my kite, but I still have my super weapon. <gasps> and Sheila! These kids are picking on me! What, what, what? Who's picking on you? Who are you kids? I'll call your mothers right now. Yeah, get him in, Sheila. You, new kid. You guys can't find my mom. She's gonna kick your ass. Kyle, language! I'm gonna kick your fucking asses all the way to Canada. Huh? No, I will avenge you, black hole. Stay away from my bummy, you little monsters. Oh, hey! Mega Paul Hood. Yeah, I saw that coming. You're making a big mistake, guys. 
Mom, are you okay? Nice going, guys. Kyle, get inside and call the police. We have to get these kids arrested. No, no, Mom. No police. This is all my fault. What? Look, it's just... I, I couldn't take my cousin copying everything I do. The human kite is about saving people, not about Judaism. And now look at all the damage you've caused. I should press charges against your friends. And look my kite up in a tree. I'm sorry. Please, I'll do anything. You are going to let your cousin play with you from now on. Is that clear? Oh boy, Kyle and Sheila says I get to play with you. Yes, sometimes you can play with us. Yippee! Now get your cousin's kite out of that tree. You're not playing anymore until you do. Come on, Shugana. Let's get you some back tea. Oh, I hate back tea because it gets on my fingers and I get eczema from the lidocaine. of surprises. Great, we got it! Now my mom can stop being pissed at me! Ah! I'm going to call that Farkor. When you need to reach high, out-of-the-way spots, give me a call and we'll Farkor up there. Man, I hope I never need to do that in public, though. Kind of embarrassing. Craft it, new kid, just like I taught you. Go on, don't be shy. I see you've also come to assist in assuring Classy's cooperation. Please, after you. Uh, hello, we're picking up some medicine for a friend. Nah, dude, I don't selfie when I'm sober. It's my rule. Oh, is your friend looking for an energizing mental feeling or more of a full body high? Uh, I don't know. Well, I'll send over our expert bud tender who can help you out. Hey, you wanna get hot? Oh, hey, Eric. Oh, wow, Tally. Thought you went to rehab. Yeah, I did, but now I'm back in South Park. Clean and sober, almost a year. Clean and sober, no drugs at all. And I tell you what, I don't miss it! And you work here in a pot store. Cannabis, Eric, and yeah, it's great. Now I get high, helping people cure their insomnia, back pain, migraines, and stress, naturally. Did you know that ancient Chinese gave cannabis to their infants for teething? Huh. I have an addictive personality, so I'm cool without it. And now I got a kid with my lady, so better to stay on the straight and narrow, you know? You have a kid, right. It turns out I had one the whole time. I was too high to realize. Now I'm holding down a job and paying the rent. But I'm also doing good helping people find the herbal remedies they need to combat all the modern stresses of a job and taxes and traffic and a wife breathing down my neck about an apartment in a town that we got a leak. Why, why can't you fix it? I'm not a plumber, bitch. I'm a towel, not a fucking plumber. Okay, we're, we're here to pick up our friend's medicine. Her name is Classy. Oh, Classy. Yeah, Classy with a Y with a clit hanging off it, coming around and licking the shit out of the sea? No, 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 no. It's uh, Classy with a dick hanging off the eye that's fucking the L out of the ASS. Oh, that Classy. Sure, I got her order. Yeah, she, she, she likes the banana kush for her back pain and some of the platinum OG to wait. What the fuck? Who put the chillax kush in with the OG mellow bliss? What the fuck, you retards? People don't want to mix their mellow with their chill. They'll get all fucked up. God, fuck. Hey, hey, Tally, it's cool, relax. No, it is not fucking cool. I'm trying to run a legitimate business here, and my back hurts, I can't sleep, I got no appetite. This shitty town is so fucked up, we gotta buy all our product from fucking sixth graders. And who knows what the shit they're putting in it. And then to top it off, I got a couple of little dick lickers coming into my store, telling me to fucking relax. Fuck you, you relax. Tenders, get in here. It's time to give these 
Here's a fucking consultation. Be careful! There's product everywhere! Need a knife? You're gonna wish you were a towel! I like my job because I'm constantly learning new things. Almost impressed. Now for my best attack. My best attack. Hey guys. Oh. Hey, how you been, Eric? Oh, you're a cool guy, man. I'm oh, psyched to see you, man. Yeah, this is for Classy. I threw in a couple hash nuggets and some granddaddy purple shatter on the house. So come by anytime for a hookup. See, here's the new kid now. You got Classy's prescription? Damn well, better hand my prescription. Well, it's about motherfucking time. Praise Jesus, I need this shit bad. If I don't get my medication, I lose my motherfucking mind. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> all right, all right, all right. That's much fucking better. All right, listen. The place y'all niggas need to go is you store it. That's where they taking the cats, you know what I'm saying? That's it. Coon, this is Fepes. The new kid got the intel from Classy. Not bad, new kid. What'd you find out? It's the used store it in the northeast of town. Classy says the cats are being taken there. The used store it. We should have known. All right, keep Classy safe. I'll get back to you guys soon. Roger that. Fast pass. Uh, uh. Fast pass. Uh, uh. Fast pass. Uh, uh, uh. Fast, fast pass. Fast, fast pass out. Looky, looky, if it ain't my little hero. Oh, uh, hey, new kid. Yeah, uh, so it turns out gender is actually a little more, uh, complicated than what we talked about yesterday, huh? Okay, um, could you come back to my office so we could sort this out, maybe, huh? Okay, thanks, okay. Oh, great, thanks for coming. Have a seat. Now, I got some, uh, some feedback from the principal that uh, our discussion about sex, I, I mean about gender, wasn't, uh, precise enough. And, uh, well, he, he gave me some guidelines how to do a more, uh, uh, thorough pass, helping you identify your gender. Okay. Is the gender that you were assigned with at birth the gender that you currently identify with? Okay. Okay. Um, how many genders does your identity consist of? Don't know. Okay. Do you feel as though you have a gender at all? Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I guess not having a gender is what we call genderless. So uh, we'll just go with that now. Okay, new kid. All right. Okay, great. Now, the next thing I want to talk to you about with your gender is your sexuality. Now, a lot of people think that gender and sexuality are the same, but no, that's bad. That's wrong. It's bad. Okay. Now, how would you describe the sex of the kinds of people you find yourself, uh, Sexually attracted to. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Are you attracted to both binary genders, male and female, or do you find multiple genders beyond the binary definitions attractive? Okay. Okay, do you find yourself sexually attracted to some genders or all genders? Pansexual, then. Okay, okay. Just be careful, okay? Because there's, there's a lot of people out there who don't accept you for what you are, and then you're going to have to deal with them, okay? So, uh, but come see me anytime. Hey, it's that, that queer kid. Yeah, they're genderless. And they're pansexual, too. We don't take kindly to your types around here. Let's welcome this thing to our town. We don't take kindly to your types around here. I'll whoop you like your daddy never done. America, love it or get your ass kicked, socialist. I'm big again. God damn it. Hacha. Oh no, my glazies! Next time I'll show you what I really meant to do. Uh, 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 you fuck with the 
Raccoon, you answer to his friends, right, guys? Super Craig to the rescue. We fucking dropped that. Hey, kid. You're that farting vigilante from the news, right? Not a talker, eh? Well, Sergeant wants to have a few words with you over at the station. So then, so then the WAP says to the Polak, if I wanted tits, I'd have beat up the nip in the black guy's hat. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, oh, what do we have here? You're the one who made the news last night, huh? Well, the police can always use the help of concerned citizens. I guess we can give our little junior detective a special kitty case to work on. All right, listen up. There's somebody new to town, shaking up the crime families. This is a real bad dude. A kingpin of crime who wants to control all the drugs in the city. We've tracked him to this location here. I need you to go in and neutralize him. You lead point, my boys will be there after. If you take out the drug kingpin, we'll give you this junior detective badge. Pretty neat, huh? Now get out there! Oh, hey, little superhero. I know you're out there saving kitties. If you come across any of my kitties and there's pink scarves, can you bring them back to me? I can't find them anywhere. My kitties are being hunted by those mean sixth graders. If you see any of my furry babies, come talk to me. Okay, honey buns? All of my kitties wear little pink scarves. Please let me know if you see any. Okay, you're approaching the hideout. Find a way in, but be careful. He's probably armed to the teeth. Thermal imaging is showing the suspect is in the rear of the house. You should have him in sight. Hey, who are you? What are you doing in my house? Engage! Engage! I don't know what you're doing in my house. Stand your ground! Ah, what's wrong with you? Holy shit, you're the real deal, superhero. That's one less violent degenerate this town has to deal with. Please come by and help us again. All right, listen. I have this ex-friend who I hate now, and he still has my goddamn laptop. Go get it from him and tell him if he doesn't let you have it, I'm calling the fucking cops. His name is Tweak. You'll probably find him at his parents' coffee house. How are those taste tests coming, son? I can't even taste the difference anymore! Well, keep sampling. We need to come up with the perfect sunset blend. What's this? Give me my fucking laptop. Oh, you work for him, huh? Well, you can go back and tell him he can have his laptop back when I get my fucking guinea pig back. We bought it when we were together, but Stripe is mine. I paid for him, and I have the receipt. You think it's right for him to keep Stripe while he's the one who didn't stand up for me? You tell him that. Well, what did Tweak say about my laptop? The fucking guinea pig? Uh, fine. You know where Stripe's cage is. Go get him and give him to that fucking asshole. When you give that to Tweak, you make sure he knows that when you walk out on someone, you don't get to make up the rules anymore. Oh, he finally decided to be reasonable, huh? Fine. Here's his stupid laptop. Oh, hello, uh, new kid, right? Listen, I see you're really trying hard to get my son and his boyfriend back together, and, well, I so appreciate it. Having a gay son is really good for the coffee business. I think all they need is a little relationship counseling. Could you give this to Craig? Maybe together we can both help them out, huh? Where is it? Counseling? Tweak wants me to go to counseling with him? No way. Tell him there's no way I'll go to counseling unless you go too. I need my support team. What's this? Relationship counseling? Craig? Are you shitting me? Well, fine, I'll do it. As long as you're there, you seem to be able to get him to think rationally. And now you got a problem with me! I'm not just gonna sit here and do nothing while you insult this man's ethnicity! I wasn't insulting him. Excuse me! Did you or did you not say that this man seemed tired? Yes, he's my friend. I said, Paolo, you look tired. Microaggression! Ah, ah, ah. Persons of Hispanic backgrounds have been stereotyped as being sleepy and saying they look tired is a microaggression that will not stand! But I am tired. Oh, oh, uh. You! You're the new kid, right? I'm the principal of your school. My name's PC Principal. I was told you wanted to talk to me about some race issues. Okay, come at me.
Come on, you want to learn about race, right? Give me your best shot. It's a nice day, isn't it? What's wrong with you? You can't just attack for no reason. Try again. This time I will use a microaggression and you will see how it gives you a free shot. All right, everybody, listen up. I'm about to use a microaggression, but it's only for the use of training this young person in the ways of the social justice warrior. Thank you, Michael Christian. About to happen. Thank you. My friend Brian looks like a chick. Microaggression. Hit him. Oh, oh. Not bad, kid. Not bad at all. Not only is the word chick derogatory to females, but also criticizing a male for looking feminine is a microaggression towards person of transgender. Now let's see if you can spot a microaggression that's more subtle. My pants are warm. My pants are warm. That coffee belongs to Tam Sherman. Mr. Yamashiro is actually a very good driver. Microaggression, hit him. Uh, uh. Nice kid, very nice indeed. Using the term actually inferred that maybe other Asian Americans are not good drivers. And the use of Mr. is offensive to persons of third gender. Now before we talk about your race, I need you to get out there and do some PC work for me. I'll let you know when I think you're ready. Remember kid, people use microaggressions every day. I'm counting on you to make them pay for doing so. Hey little crime stopper, back for more? I got something you might be interested in. Turns out that scum you fucked up is just the low guy on the totem pole. We now believe the real kingpin is over here, on your phone, that I'm holding right now. Thanks for letting me hold your phone to show you this. He's hiding out in some big luxury mansion bought with blood money, scumbag. This is a whole nother level, little crime fighter. His house is like a fortress. Every window and door is wired to a state-of-the-art, high-tech security system. You'll need this. This mobile hacking device will help you bypass the security system. Good hunting, hero. It's our lucky day, superhero. Looks like the guard is on a piss break or something. Proceed past the gate and around the back to find an entry point. Not this time, sir. Not this time. Please move the fuck along or I will fuck you up non-lethally. I will beat you until my shift is over, sir. I will not be humiliated again. This time I got backup. Ah! Ow! Stop, bro. I'll call. Someone. Yeah, but Lord, I'm just glad it's over. My hemorrhoids are really talking to me. Okay, quick superhero, answer the phone and use your hack- Hello, this is Jeff with Wolf Home Security. Is everything all right? Hello, yes, sorry, I live here and I can't remember my code to turn off the dang alarm. Oh, that's okay, sir. Do you have your security password you can tell me? Can you hold on just a minute? Is everything all right? Uh, yes, no problem. I've got it right here. Hang on a second. Dang it, let me look in. Oh, wrong drawer. Can you hold on just a minute? I'm sorry. No problem, sir. Can you hear me? Did you maybe write the password down anywhere, sir? Like a notepad or something? Yes, yes, must be something. Let's see. Let me check in this drawer. Ha! Ah, looks like I need to find my glasses here. Hold on. Can you hold on just a minute? Maybe it's my middle name? Could you, could you try my middle name? Okay, sir, I tell you what, let's just look up your account profile and get a new password for you. If you can just hang on a line here. Don't be fooled by his attempts at upper middle class sensibility. Oldest trick in the book. Careful with this one, hero. He's got a temper on him. 
Choose your moment now. Hey, who the hell are you? You can't just break in here. Engage! Go, go, go! I have a security system, you know. Brilliant work, hero. You're really getting into the program. You understand exactly what we're doing, and you're doing it right along with us. Meet me back at the station. I've got something for you. Good work on clearing that kingpin, little Crime Stopper. I wish I had a hundred more like you on the force. You got gumption, Crime Stopper. Huddle up, it's selfie time. Aha, now I can monitor you on the internet. Rookie mistake, superhero. Hey, you're getting a lot of buzz around the old precinct, new kid. Swing by my office in the police station. I want to talk about an amazing grassroots marketing opportunity. My lord, I have to say I'm mildly impressed with the progress you're making. Come to the coon lair. I've got a little surprise for you. Coon out. No, 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 no. We can't do the Super Craig movie before the Human Kite Netflix series, guys. That doesn't make any sense. Well, what about introducing Super Craig in the second Coon and Friends movie? That'd be pretty DC Comics of us. I wouldn't recommend it. Ah, Butt Lord, please have a seat. Sorry, guys. Can I have a moment with Butt Lord, please? Sure thing. Come on, fast pass. Uh... Right behind you, Mosquito. <laughs> Butt Lord, I just wanted to let you know that we've decided to let you have your own Netflix series right after the Fast Pass Fox miniseries and the third Coon and Friends United movie. Congratulations. Okay, well, get out there and finish your goals. Just, uh, wanted to tell you the exciting news. What do you want, new kid? I already let you dual class. There's nothing left to talk about. Oh, no. No, 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 no. You are not going to have three classes. New kid? New kid, no, do not give me those sad puppy eyes. Nobody gets to be three classes. It... You think that just because you had to live through your dad fucking your mom, you should get all the sympathy in the world, don't you? <sighs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring that up. All right, all right, fine. If you were going to add another class, what would it be? Assassin, assassin. Hope you're not squeamish about blood. Okay, but if you're gonna be triple class, then we have to change your backstory. It is pretty dumb. Let's go back in time again. Back to when you were just a child. You couldn't sleep that night, but it was because you saw strange lights in the sky. You walked to the mirror. And in the mirror, you saw a kid who maybe wasn't from this world. And that's when you heard it. Strange alien sounds from the hallway. You walked out and saw two intruders and an alien in your house. You had to stop them, so you called upon your new powers. As an assassin hero, you sharpened your blades and prepared to do what you do best, kill. Wasting no time, you drew first blood with a quick cut attack on the nearest foe. Bloodied, your target called for his companions to aid him. Hey, that kid has a knife! Oh shit, seriously? Even as he lost blood, the intruder swung his crowbar wildly at your face! Uh. You needed to get out of the fray and back into the shadows. Hey, where'd that little shit go? Bewildered, the villain searched for any trace of your whereabouts. I got a bad feeling about this. You stealthily crept into position to execute your next move. Your spin slash sent a fury of piercing knives in all directions. Mortally wounded, the last standing foe charged at you and let loose a blood-fueled onslaught. She was do or die. You were him. hit him as he slinked back into the shadows. That kid's like some kind of super assassin. The alien took you by the hand and led you into a dark room. And that's when you saw that your dad had just fucked your mom. Whoa, boy, that is pretty tragic, new kid. I'm so sorry.
Were the aliens helping you by showing you who fucked your mom, or were they trying to make you full of rage? You might never know. All right, get back out there, butt lord. You still have a lot of things to do. New kid, this is Fast Pass. Get to the playground. One of the Freedom Pals is calling us out. I thought feminine-looking guys went out of style in the 80s, but the new kid's pulling it off. You're sure one of the Freedom Pals wants to meet with us? Yeah, his text said it was very urgent. Yeah, but why would the Freedom Pals want to talk to us? Unless this is some kind of trap. Relax, coon friends. I didn't come to fight. Hello, Toolshed. Long time no see. Toolshed is a gadgeteer class visionary archetype. And a butt-fucking traitor. Just listen to me. I understand that the new kid helped take my dad's keys last night. New kid, I don't know why you were looking out for my dad, but I owe you one. That's all I came to say. You might be in the wrong franchise, but if you ever need help, I'll return the favor. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, oh, you think the new kid fucking cares about you? You belong to a loser zero-income franchise that's run by a douchebag in a wheelchair! At least he's not a fat little phone stealer. Oh, not him again. Come you call us losers when the only way you can get a lead is to steal it? Where is Dr. Timothy's phone? Sorry, freedom pussies. That info is classified. <laughs> you guys need to stop investigating the Chamber of Commerce and leave it to the professional superheroes. Oh yeah, you guys are the professional superheroes. It just so happens, Mysterion, that we already have a connection with Netflix. No, you don't. Yes, we do. We're just about to get the Human Kite Netflix series off the ground, so... No, Timmy, no. No, stop it. Stop, stop, stop it, Timmy! He's trying to rape my mind! Ah! Ah! They don't have a connection at Netflix. Freedom Pals just raped my mind, you guys! Let's get these pedophiles! Coon and friends assemble! Freedom Pals, unite! Civil War II is going down! You're outmatched. Give up before you embarrass yourselves. I have a really good feeling about this, guys. Tell them what you made up, butthole! How would you like a screwdriver sandwich, coon? Nail, meet hammer. Well done, butthole! Oh yeah! Oh yeah, that is twice we kicked your asses! You guys are nothing without the new kid, and you know it. New kid, my offer stands. I still owe you one. And if you ever want to be part of a real franchise, just call me. Yeah, right. You guys are DC Comics. We're Marvel. Fucking asshole. You guys have Zack Snyder direct your fucking movies. Hey, that was some pretty good PC police work, kid. Way to take advantage of those motherfuckers' microaggressions. Come back to the brew pub. I think we can discuss your race and ethnicity now. You have potential, kid. I'm glad to have you in town. Now let's discuss your race and ethnicity. Let's determine exactly what you are. Latino? Again, not viewed as a race, but to group you with Hispanics would be very non-PC. American. Race and ethnicity are very different things. Nice. It's your many splendor journey. You see? That wasn't hard, was it? Now that you know how to define yourself, you can go back to making people pay for not identifying you and others correctly. I'm glad I know a little more about you, kid. Now get out there and kick some ass. Gosh, darn it, I don't think that vigilante's setting a good example for the young folks. Attention all coon friends. We have the information we need and are ready for our next mission. Everyone report to the coon lair immediately. Coon out! You know, butthole, you kind of look like a boy. There you are, Jesus, took you long enough. Have a seat, butt lord. All right, everyone. But Lord interrogated Classy and found out our next lead is at the U store it here in town. We need to infiltrate it tonight. It can't be done. Why not, Mosquito? Because the U store entrance is all lava. The whole thing is fucking lava? Shit! There has to be a way to get past it. There is. Toolshed? Toolshed? What's that donkey fucker have to do with anything? Toolshed has a device that clears lava, remember? It's one of his superpowers. Hey, and Toolshed said that he owes the new kid a favor. Well. Looks like you're gonna come in handy again, butt lord. Super Craig, write an anonymous email to Toolshed. Tell him the new kid is ready to have his favor return. Everyone else, go home and get in bed. We meet at the U store at tonight. To bed, everybody! Coon friends are on the cake. Go on home, butt lord. If all goes according to plan, Toolshed will meet up with you later. Just be careful. Toolshed is a two-faced, backstabbing butt sniffer. 
Why would you tell the school principal what race we are? I didn't tell him. Our child did. But you confirmed it when the principal called you. How long before they find out everything? Our child is confused, don't you get it? First asking the counselor about sexual orientation, then talking to the principal about race? Confusion was the point! The more our child learns about the truth, the more dangerous it becomes, you stupid whore! Uh, hey, look who's here. Been out playing, little squirt? <laughs> Your dinner is on the table, pumpkin, then straight to bed. You have school tomorrow. <laughs> school tomorrow. <laughs> oh, are you not gonna drink? Whatever's in these things are making you crazy! Crazy? Like telling the world who our child is that we took so long to hide? Hey kiddo, listen, I know we never talked about it, but your mother and I are very proud Americans. Night night, punk. Night falls upon the town like a fat, slimy turd. The stink of greed, corruption, and crime rises from the gutters and fills the streets. Only one thing can deal with fat turds. Cooning friends. Hashtag fuck freedom pals. So, we meet again, new kid. I have to put our petty differences aside. There's something happening to this city, and it needs tool shed. Well, follow me to Professor Chaos's lair. You'll probably want to know about my superhero backstory. You see, when I was just a child, my father was in the garage working on a project. There was a huge storm and lightning blew my father off his workbench. I ran to help him, but at that moment, another blast somehow fused his power tools onto my body. I became a superhero while my father was left mentally impaired. There you go, you fucking bitch! Why don't you, why don't you just, just take a shit in your face? Take this, you dumb whore! Randy, get in here right now and stop keying my car. Okay. But this is different. My father's acting even stupider than ever before. Perhaps Toolshed wants to help his father because he feels he could have saved him all those years ago. Uh-oh, these guys are blocking our path. There's gotta be way- All right, you kid. I guess the two of us have to drill through these guys. Ew! Drill through these guys was supposed to be like a tool thing. I guess it was kind of a stretch. There's just only so many tool-based one-liners in the world, you know? We're gonna turn the screws on these guys. How's that? I'll workshop it later. Oh, man, I have the worst luck. You ain't gonna gentrify us out of here. Any spare change for medical bills? Ah, I'm a person. I don't deserve this abuse. Spun Lord's really giving him shit. <laughs> They're here. Coon friends are simple. Well, well, the butt-fucking traitor actually showed up. Hey, whoa, whoa, nuh-uh. I said I'd help the new kid, not you, losers. Yeah, well, the new kid is a coon friend, and coon friends work together, douche. Come on, we need to get inside this fence. Yeah, tool shed, that's what the new kid wants. Fine. As long as there's a power generator nearby, I can use my dad's sandblaster to clear almost any obstacle. Wow, that is fantastic. That's got it. Coon and friends, let's go. Let's get one thing straight, Shed. I don't trust you. You make one move out of line and I'll shred you. I'm only here for the new kid, fat ass. After tonight, we're sworn enemies again. All right, Classy said the cats all go to one of these storage facilities. Everyone fan out. Here, kitty, here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, 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 meow, meow. What'd you find? Come into my parlor. I've bought more tinfoil and more minions than you can possibly fathom. I've been given $20,000 to keep nosy people away from this place. What? $20,000 just to keep people from snooping around. But I only need a few hundred for that. So you know what I'm gonna do with all the rest? Go to Paris and get a Pete Allen house fit and fuck French chicks? Super Craig. Wrong! I'm going to destroy this town and prove that I'm the bad guy, not this new kingpin jerkhead. So long, coon friends. Minions? No minions, you gotta kill them. Ah, oh, dang it. God damn it. All right, let's just find what we're looking for and get out of here. <laughs> You'll never make it through my impenetrable.
Agáchense. Ay, ah, this job is no bueno. Ahora qué, jefe? The blood, it's endless. Loco americanos. God only knows. You guys take the alley over there. Super Craig and I are hitting the... Why would Chaos want to wrap an entire truck in aluminum foil? That's not the problem! Is aluminum foil really what you guys are concerned with? Who the fuck is that? You were right about the Italian restaurant, new kid. The owner is a part of a new crime syndicate. Who the fuck is that? I have no idea. Well, she's not in the union. Excuse me, are you on Coonstagram? There's someone new in town who's bringing all the crime families together. Okay, cool. Thank you. Bye. Y you mean like a kingpin? You guys do not say anything. We're not playing with her. Check out storage facility 56D, new kid. And here, take this. Call me if you need me. I think you're gonna need all the help you can get. So I guess now any fucking asshole thinks they can be a superhero. Come on, let's just find scrambles and be done. You guys see Scrambos here? Oh shit, lava! <laughs> Can you stop fucking around, Chaos? Not Professor Chaos, his partner in crime. General Disarray! Careful, he's a ging. Do you know what Professor Chaos has planned for this city? Look, kid, you and Butters are taking this way too far. Yeah, it's time to teach you a lesson. That won't be as easy as you think. Perfect, look out! <laughs> Vengeance! Vamanos! You have no choice, Coot Branch. The floor is lava, or at least it will be soon. <laughs> Kneel before... Don't worry about the minions, just take out the general. Uh, phew, I'll feel that tomorrow. Attack these mortal creatures in the name of chaos! Don't count on it. We should make a- wait, wait, Super Craig? Oh my god, Super Craig? 
Super Craig, just hold tight. Shit, there's no air compressor here. No way I can remove that lava. Hang on, Super Craig. We're gonna find something to plug Tool Shed Sandblaster into. You and I both know I'm already dead. No, Super Craig. We're gonna find a way to save you. Do something, Tool Shed. There's nothing here. My Sandblaster needs compressed air to work. Get the one from the entrance. The gate slammed and locked shut, remember? It's okay, guys. We all knew when we signed on to be Coon friends that it might end like this. Stay calm, Super Craig. We're gonna get you home. Sorry, Coon, but it looks like this was a one-way trip. No, Super Craig, no! Starting to remember things of my past. Things I regret. People I wish I'd been kinder to. Somebody get a goddamn air compressor! Dude, what are you doing? Are you crazy? Do you know what kind of fart power someone would need to make that work? Jesus Christ, that's an asshole? What? What happened? The new kid shoved the tube up his ass and cleared away all the lava. Oh. You guys go and get chaos. I've got to try and stabilize Super Craig. Ow! Fuck! It's cute. What the fuck was that, you asshole? It's an intracardiac injection, Super Craig. I had to stabilize you. Are you fucking serious right now? You could have fucking killed me. Where the fuck did you get that, Cartman? Online. Super Craig, just stay still. You suffered a lot. You guys go ahead. I'm going to just try and stabilize him. Hey, that was really cool back there. Now we can clear lava whenever we want. We make a great team, Butt Lord. General Desiree! Okay, Butt Lord, we need to get up to that Hello, water tower General platform Desiree. so we can do some fart core man. The Coon friends are all burned away, right? Shit. Forget it, Order Lovers. This is a chaos-only vote. Also, you need to shut that kid up. He's super annoying. Hey, what's going on down there? You're liable for any property damage, you know? Uh-oh, that doesn't look right. Oh, shit! Hey, what the fuck? Who is that? Oh my god, that's the vigilante! That's right, the king! And some little fat kid, too. This cat, where is it? That's some real high-grade shit there. Cat like that would go to the boss man himself. You idiot! You don't talk about him! Now we gotta kill these shits! Who wants the first cut? about to get fixed. Who's it gonna be? And all right, look, it ain't us, okay? The big man has all the crime families working together. The Italians, the Russians, the sixth graders, they all work for him. We just put the cat urine in the drugs and alcohol. Who is the big man? He don't even do it for the money, man. It's like, it's like he wants more crime in the streets. Wow, that sounds spooky. You don't even know spooky, man. We got to do this if they tell us. Don't you get it? We're already dead for telling you. Dude, the fuck? gonna declare the entire town lava. Well, well, you actually made it to the end, Coon friends. Coon and friends, butters, goddammit! And now you know that you are too late. All of South Park is about to be covered in lava. Just think about it. Everywhere will be off limits. Everyone will have to just stay where they are, forever. The park will be lava. The Dairy Queen will be lava. It'll be absolute chaos. <laughs> Come out and fight like a man, chaos. Oh, I am much more than a man now, Mosquito. I have finally fought enough tinfoil to piece together my greatest weapon yet. Greetings! I'd like you to meet Mecha Minion Chaos Supreme! Es un trabajo. Oh shit, bro. Ha ha ha! Now prepare to meet your end, Coon friends! Coon and friends! That does it! This asshole dies now! <laughs> meet your Mecha Supreme Doom! Well, that's that's a hell of a construction project. Thanks! Starting Mecha Destruction. Check out my missiles, fellas, aren't they cool? We have rocket impact in T-minus, uh, soon! Chaos! Uh, kaboom! This is so much fun! Fuck 
And finally... Yeah. Oh, I didn't feel that at all! <laughs> oh, that's definitely fire! Ah, my legs! Tienes que enviar mi cheque! No, no, come back, minions! Vamos! Okay, fellas, that was a minor setback, but chaos cannot be stopped so easily. Initiate phase two! Oh, God damn it, butters. <laughs> For freedom and the pals who love it. <laughs> no, this cannot be the end. I'm really glad we opted for three phases, guys. Drywall screw, and we could hang a picture off that wound. All right, Chaos, talk. Who gave you the money to do all this? Butter, wake up! I think he's dead, dude. He's not dead. Uh, fellas, I think we better get him back to base. All right, come on. Let's take him to the holding cell. The holding cell? Oh, jeez, it's, it's kind of late, fellas. I should get home or I'm gonna be grounded. You should have thought of that before you tried to lava the town, Chaos. Hey, dude. It was great working with you again, man. It was like old times. Yeah, well, I told you. This was a one-shot deal. I only helped out because I owed the new kid a favor. Come on, Shed. Come back to the team. Can't do that, Kite. Freedom Pals is gonna make way more money with their franchise. You're wrong. We're gonna make like a billion dollars. We're gonna make like a zillion dollars. But guys, think about it. Why would someone pay Butters to cause more chaos? Who could it be? Maybe it's that Tommy Nelson kid. He's always been kind of a dick. Oh, have a seat, Thunderpants. What if the person paying Butters wasn't a kid? I is that it, Chaos? Were you paid by an adult? I'm telling you, I don't know his name, fellas. Nobody does. He's just trying to unite all the crime families in town. He's everywhere. He's nameless. Faceless. He can change his appearance like the wind changes direction. Wait, what did you say? He says there's a revolution coming, and the darkness of our own hearts will bring about our undoing. Oh my god. He, he is that which liberates, and he knows the true weakness of tolerance, and his coming will bring about a tide of chaos like nothing we've never seen you there Oh my god. Could it be? No, it's impossible. What's impossible? There's only one person I know of who can disguise himself so easily, and it's the same person who might have a motive for tearing South Park apart. Who? Oh. Mitch Connor. Mitch Connor? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Who's Mitch Connor? It's Carbon's dumbass hand puppet. You know damn well that Connor was just using my hand to suit his needs. At first, he disguised himself as Jennifer Lopez, who loves tacos and burritos. When his cover was blown, he was arrested by the police, but escaped. But why would he want to take down Zappa? And where would he get all his money? Shut up! It's not Mitch stupid fucking Connor! How do you know? No, Kyle is right, you guys. It couldn't be Mitch Connor. Connor died in an oil rig explosion in northern Alaska. Fuck this. I'm going to bed. Yes, yes, good idea, human kite. Everyone get back to your homes. It's getting late. Let's all reconvene tomorrow. After... Ski. And now, the news program that starts your day off right. Good morning, South Park! The South Park Vigilante struck again last night, this time at a meth lab in the downtown u Stort facility. Here with more is a midget in a fedora. Tom, six people were arrested last night after the Vigilante exposed a huge meth lab in the storage facility behind me. Eyewitnesses have come forward with shocking reports that the Vigilante's farts were so awful they seemed to actually rip the fabric of time. You ain't never heard a fart like this, man. It was like... One minute he farted on my dick, and the next thing, my dick was like 20 seconds in the past. Finally, someone is standing up to all the crime in this city. If you ask me, these people here all deserve to be farted on. He's a menace, if you ask me. How long before this vigilante gets radical and blows up a school or a church, huh? How long before Captain America becomes Captain Ideology? Huh? The third Captain America movie? How long was that? About six years? About six years! Dozens of protesters gathered outside the police station today as a warrant was issued for the vigilante's arrest. This city will not be victimized by mass crusaders who sneak around and fart on people at night. 
We urge all citizens to arm themselves and fight against this kind of rectal oppression. <sighs> yeah, it's me. Nobody knows anything about this kid. Not what race he is, not even if it's a boy or a girl. What do we do, sir? Just keep getting the product into people's drugs and alcohol. I'll handle the vigilante. This deal's getting out of control. You said you could get the mayor out of office. You wanted to be left alone, Commissioner. To do what you love doing. I've made that happen. Just stay calm and soon everyone will have exactly what they want. Kid, right? My name's Wendy. Nice to have you at our school. That little problem Call Girl told you about? It's a lot worse. The Chamber of Commerce wants to get rid of the vigilante no matter what it takes. You know the bathrooms in the park? Call Girl wants you to meet her there. Right now. Yeah, anyway, nice to have you in town, new kid. Hello there, new kid. We haven't been formally introduced. I'm Mr. Crime Syndicate Kingpin Guy, and you. You are the one who keeps farting on all my best people. Are we really so different, you and Anne? We both want what's best for this city. I know you've probably got places to be, but why don't you come talk to me instead? I'm at the old Soto Sopa ruins. Come on, what do the Coon friends really have to offer you? You have to admit, the best part about being a girl is that our bathrooms are clean. Anyway, I've got a problem, new kid. I'm like you, an outsider. I've been watching as adults in our town act stranger and stranger, but nobody will listen to me. I started cross-referencing everyone's Instagrams to see what kind of connection I could find. And that's when it happened. Somebody cancelled my cellular data plan. My phone is dead. Whoever did this has to pay. I'm going to the mobile company to find out what happened. I can't go alone. I'm asking for your help, new kid. I think you're the only one who understands. Oh, hey, new kid! All right, are you ready to do this? If I can't use my mobile devices, I can't save this town! Let's go find out what's wrong with this place. Welcome to D-Mobile! Can I help you? Crab people! Crab people! Look like crab work at mobile stores like people! Uh, yeah, I'm having a lot of problems connecting to the internet. Your name and D-Mobile number, please! Your name and D-Mobile number, please! Wait a minute, you weren't the people who worked here last week. That's right, we are proud people. Shh! We are glad people to work in this fine place. Can I interest you in a new contract with up to five gigabytes of data per month? No, I just want my phone to work right. Excellent, Hillman! How dare you shout our data plan? I knew it. The phone company's been taken over by crab people. She's on to us. Call girl, save us! Come on, you kid. Let's wipe the floor with him. Don't Glad to be working with you, new kid. I wish I was live streaming that. Butthole is blowing up, guys. I must be Jack, Mr. Connor. We have mail. Get wrecked, assholes. Oh, thank you, call girl. I don't know what those things were, but they smelled like crab and kissed like people. How can we repay you? Just get my phone working again, all right? Yes, yes, of course, call girl. Thanks for saving the mobile store once again. Thanks, new kid, but I have a feeling this isn't over. If you smell crab, call me. Okay, here's Farty Pants now. Come join us. It's weird. He's a boy. Coon friends, these are dark times. We now know for a fact that Scrambles the Missing Cat is part of a larger conspiracy. We also know that the fucking Freedom Pals have more information about this conspiracy than we do. Fact. Maybe we should just face it, guys. Maybe Freedom Pals have a better super franchise than we do. Hey, that's no way to talk, Mosquito. The only reason that Freedom Pals are ahead of us right now is because they're butt-fucking cheaters who sold out. Yeah, but Freedom Pals have Dr. Timothy and he can read people's minds and bend reality. Yeah, because he just said that. When we made up our superpowers, he was like, well, I have every power to do fucking everything. You think that's fair? It's time for us to be as dirty as them. We have to know what the Freedom Pals know. Well, how are we ever going to get the help of the Freedom Pals? We send a spy. 
Someone in our group who pretends to want to switch sides and join Freedom Pact. Somebody who they don't know very well. The new kid joins Freedom House, then asks for assistance investigating the community scene. Hope the new kid is good at bullshitting. You'll never get past the security grids. They change it every day. I can get the new kid inside. I've got hacking abilities, remember? Because I'm a gadgeteer class with the tinkering ability. No dice, Chaos. You're just saying that to get out of jail. You better let him go. The new kid will need him. All right, fine. <laughs> Get the new kid inside Freedom Pal's base. Okay! And if he tries anything funny, kill him. All right, you ready to go to see Freedom Pals with me? Hey, come on, I gotta get my minions first. Hey, butthole. You're about to enter the chamber of chaos, new kid. There's no way to unsee the... Well, they cleaned up for a while, so watch where you're stepping. No. No. That's not it. What's this? No. No. Oh, here we go. My minions. Hey, little buddy, you ready to go hack some control panels? All right. Let's get the Freedom Pals base. Ah! Where have you been, mister? Oh, hey, Dad. I, but but, but I, just, I just been hanging out with my new, new friend. And I, you I... didn't come home last night, Butters. Your mom and I were worried sick. We could barely enjoy the movie we were watching. I'm sorry, Dad. I, I just my new friend and just really mean Sorry's to Sorry's not going to cut it, mister. And you, what's your name? You got to say something. You don't understand. I asked you a question. Who are you? Please, please don't do this. That does it. Butters, you are grounded. And so is your smart-ass little friend. <sighs> but, but that's impossible. I grounded you. How could you be here right now? It, it wasn't me, Dad. It was a new kid. You have some kind of ability to unground people? Whoever you touch becomes ungrounded, is that it? Your evil magic is not welcome here, Darkling. Are you ready to straighten up and fly right? Who will I ground next? Maybe all of you. Oh, gosh. <laughs> you got a lot of nerve, kid. Go ahead and try. Playing with fire? That's grounds for a grounding. And you, mister. You're grounded, too. Yeah. I'm okay. I'm fine. Ugh. Who will I ground next? Maybe all of you. Oh, gosh. you might end up here. They're here to spy on what Timothy is working on. I see we rip them to shreds. Calm down, everyone. Let's hear what they have to say. Oh, God. It's him. This is a fairly shocking change of heart for you, Professor. You really wish to help the new kids switch franchises? Well, yeah. You, you, you know, we just thought that, you, you know, your franchise seems a lot more open and progressive. And, uh, but, you know, we just... Thought he should switch because Coon and Friends kind of isn't going anywhere. Oh God, see, the, the new kid came to me and said, uh, "How do I quit Coon and Friends?" And since I hate Coon and Friends, I decided to help him out. You get anything? 
The aluminum foil on his helmet seems to be blocking my abilities. Don't trust them, Doc. They can't see what you've been working on back there. What if the new kid really wants to switch? We can see if the new kid's intentions are pure. We're sending Tupperware on a very important mission today. You can help him with that mission. I don't need backup, especially not a noob. Easy, Tup. Remember the Freedom Pal's motto. Yeah, retribution, but with inclusion. I'll send you the details on the mission. When you get there, we can begin. In the meantime, I must get back to my work. Looking for answers? Mr. Connor sends his regards. He wanted to come himself, but he's a very busy man. He mentioned some horrible tragedy happened to your mother. Funny how a few moments in our lives can completely change who we are, huh? And now you're gonna be taken out by assassins known as the City Ninja Service. <laughs> You know what to do with him when you're done. Hey, wait, you forgot to pay me! After it's done. No, 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 you hire services of a shitty ninja service, you'll pay in advance! That's, a, that's on the website! You don't sound Japanese, are you sure you're really ninjas? Yeah, yeah, I'm ninja, look at my fucking eyes! Come on, give me a check made out to a shitty ninja service! Just get it over with. Okay, hello, uh, we're from uh, Shitty Ninja. I'm afraid we got paid to assassinate you today, so uh, we have to do that, of course, on Russ. You want to pay us not to? $5,000. Okay, if you don't want to pay bribe, we're going to have to uh, murder you. <laughs> Chaos's money goes only to his minions' competitive health care plans. Okay, Ninja, you watching? Interaction Ah! You fight like a goddamn Mongolian! Hard to find a good ninja these days. Okay, new kid, apparently Tweak and Craig have agreed to some counseling together. Okay. Could you meet us at the school? Thank you. Oh, hey, new kid, the boys and I are in the gymnasium, okay, for some therapy exercises. Can you meet us there? Okay. Hey, new kid, come on in and have a seat. Okay, apparently we're having a little quarrel. Okay. Craig and Tweak have agreed to some counseling as long as you're present, new kid. Okay, so, uh, now, Craig, what do you, what do you want to say to Tweak? I think he has some stuff he should say to me. Okay, okay, Tweak, you want to start, maybe? I have nothing to say if that's his attitude. Okay, okay, well, maybe, uh, new kid, maybe you should share some of your thoughts. Okay, well, this isn't really going that well. Um, okay, boys, I want to do an exercise with you. Uh, I have some kids here to help us out. When we're trying to have some therapy, the first thing we need to do is is take out our resentments, okay? So, uh, let, let's have our resentments come out. Come on out over, come over, resentment. Okay, and then in any relationship, we also have expectations, okay? Because expectations lead to resentment, which, of course, brings about accusations. Come on out, accusations, okay? And then that all, of course, leads to victimization and withdrawal. Now, you've got to learn to overcome all of these things, okay? Are you ready? Are you ready? Go fuck them up! There they are, right there, Tweak and Craig. Yo, go beat the shit out of them! You too, new kid! Let's dance. I mean, not literally, because I don't dance. Let, let's punch. Go nuts, new kid. Teach expectations for being expectations doesn't go down that easy. There's always more expectations. Oh, oh God! Ah. You boys have to work together if you're gonna eliminate all of those expectations, okay? Wait, he's right. Huh? 
we're only going to get rid of these expectations and everything else if we do it together. Craig! Yeah, let's do it, Craig! Here I go. That that was beautiful, boys. Now fuck the rest of them up, okay? Ha! Yeah, I saw that coming. I have needs too, you know. Nothing goes without saying. Nowhere to run, withdraw, you bitch! <laughs> ah, I got rid of expectations! It is I, Super Craig. Make it this punch a room. Get up, new kid. We beat them without you. Don't you feel better? Yeah, I kinda do. Me too. Okay, we'll just come back anytime you need counseling, okay? That's uh that's it. Thanks for all your help, new kid. Yeah, fuck you, expectations. Thanks, new kid. We have a lot of work to do, but I think we both want to do it now. Come on, Craig. I'll get you your laptop. It's our laptop, Tweak. Here comes the new kid. Over here. All right, kid. This is a very important mission. Are you sure you're up to it? Well, come on. Let's go, Freedom Pals. We're here for the community service. Oh, wonderful, everyone. Some of the local children are here to sing for us. Right oh. now. Mm. Ah. I love to play my triangle, my triangle goes. When, when I am sad, I love to hear my triangle go. It cheers me up. And it makes me smile. You suck. We're sorry, folks. This kid's new. I love, I love to, to play, play my triangle. My triangle goes. Ooh. I love to play my mandolin. My mandolin goes. When I am sad, I love to hear my mandolin go. It cheers me up and makes me smile. Get off the stage! Huh? I love to play my mandolin. My mandolin goes. I love to play my flugelhorn, my flugelhorn goes. I love to play my flugelhorn, my flugelhorn goes. <laughs> when I am sad, I love to hear my flugelhorn go. It cheers, it cheers me up. <laughs> oh, oh, yuck. Yuck. It's disgusting. And it makes me smile. <laughs> Mysterion, we had some trouble, but the mission is complete. Nice work, everyone. 
New kid, congratulations. You're officially a member of Freedom Pals. You can join us tonight on our mission to the police station. We've ascertained that the police are being paid off by whoever's running crime in the city. That's right. We believe we'll find the answers to what's going on there. Welcome to the team, friend. We'll see you tonight. Don't tell anyone we're going to the police station. Ha! Dude, that was awesome, new kid! Attention all coon friends! Report to the coon lair! We know now what the Freedom Pals know! All coon friends to the coon lair! Great work, butt lord. <laughs> it is I, Professor Chaos! Um, I have kind of a problem, new kid. You know all those immigrant minions I hired? Well, I sort of can't pay them now because, you know, you kind of followed my plans and so I didn't get paid and, uh, well, I had some pretty pissed off minions. Can you meet me at the bank? I'd really appreciate it. Chaos out! Oh, new kid over here! See? He's right here. Thanks for coming, new kid. All right, so this is the person you wish to have co-sign for you? Oh, that's correct. I, see, I hired a bunch of minions to help me destroy the town. But, but my plan didn't actually come to fruition, and so I'm unable to pay the minions at this time. All right, well, what we can do is set up an LLC for you, which we can use to fund a money market account co-signed by your friend here, whose house we can put a lien on to an overseas investment, and it's gone! What's gone? Your friend's house. It's gone. Owned by a company in Hong Kong now. Thank you. Have a nice day. But I just needed to pay my minions. I didn't mean to get my friend's house taken away. Yeah, you're not too good at this economic stuff, huh? Perhaps your friend should play. Yeah, you play, new kid. Round and round she goes, where she stops, nobody knows. All right, kid, try your luck. Round she goes, where she stops, only a random number generator knows. Hit your class advancement goal and rise to the next economic level, but go bankrupt, your level will drop. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. These children just got a loan for over $80,000 to pay immigrant workers their salaries. You can be a winner, too. Just keep on trying, people. Here's your check, kid. Gee whiz, thanks a lot, new kid. You're really good at this. Well, come on, we gotta get this to my mini. There they are. Those are those damn kids that paid immigrant workers. Yeah, they got a loan to pay their minions, so you know what that means? They took our job! They took our job! They took your job! Wait a minute! I thought we were mad because of their gender choice and sexuality and stuff. No, that's all those other guys. We just want our jobs back. Oh, well, let's get your jobs and make fun of them for their former self-identification. Come on, boys. Let's show them some minions made in America. Speaking of minions... He took our minion job. He took our minion. Un job es un job. I'm gonna bounce your ass like my chicks. I'm all froze up. Oh, here I go, guys. Make some room. Go on, hey, I... Wait, Superwood. Well, gosh, I feel bad. I don't have enough minion jobs for those failures. But thanks again, new kid. Who knows? Maybe we'll start our own Legion of Evil super villains one day. That'd be pretty sweet, huh? Bye. I thought. Here's Butt Lord now. Great job, hero. Those freedom posters have no idea you fucked them over. All right, guys, listen up. Butt Lord has discovered that the Freedom Pals are infiltrating the police station tonight. We have to get there before they do. The police station? We can't take down the police, are you crazy? Yeah, just let the Freedom Pals go do it. We can't do that, guys. Why not? Because at approximately 10.30 a.m. this morning, Classy was arrested by the police. How do you know? Yo, what the fuck? You came where little bitches said you protect my ass. They only give me one motherfucking phone call, so y'all niggas better come and get me the fuck out of here. Lame-ass superhero wannabe motherfuckers. We have to help her, fellas. We made a promise. If we let Freedom Pals go do this on their own, then we're the douchebag franchise they say we are. But why would Freedom Pals work with us? Don't forget the new kid is all buddy-buddy with Freedom Pals now. Butt Lord can trick them into an assault on the lower level of the police station, and meanwhile we'll sneak in and bust Classy out. We're probably gonna get the Freedom Pals killed. And then whose superhero franchise would be number one? We did make a promise to Classy. Everyone get home and get to bed. We have a big job to do tonight. That'll be all, Butt Lord. Go home and wait to hear from the Freedom Pass.
What? What do you want now? What? Again with the puppy eyes. Are you fucking kidding me right now? No. New kid? Absolutely not. You cannot have another class. Look, I'm sorry about what happened to your mother. I know that you want closure, but... Oh. No, I guess I don't know how it feels. You're right. You're right. Maybe you should have just one more class. You were laying in bed and you heard your mom screaming. You walked out into the hallway. As a martial arts themed superhero, you focused your chi to ready your body for combat. As your opponent gloated, you took the opportunity to strike with your dragon reversal attack. In one motion, you sent him tumbling backwards and slow. Oh, so you think you know Kung Fu, huh, kid? The fools didn't know the powers they were toying with. You sent it yourself, and with great focus executed your ultimate move, the Dragon Swagger! Wanna rile us up? Is that it, kid? Your foes flew into a blind rage, swinging futilely into your shielded body. Your opponents rendered stupefied in their own anger. You broke out the ancient and powerful dragon dance! I shouldn't have doubted your moves, I'm sorry! Honorable fighter, you didn't take any joy in your opponent's demise. Channeling your chi into your fist, you finished your foe off with a Dragon Force Punch! Okay, that was... that was actually pretty cool. You ran to your parents' door, and before anything bad could happen, you ran inside to protect your mom! But you were too late, your dad totally fucked her. Oh, it must be tearing you apart inside. How people can do that to other people, I just... I'm, I'm so sorry. Anyway, we've got work to do tonight. I'll see you at the police station. There's nothing more to talk about. I'll be in touch tonight after your parents think you're sleeping. You stupid fucking cow! Have another glass of Chardonnay, why don't you? I have to drink to deal with you! That marijuana is changing you somehow! At least marijuana is natural, not like... grapes! You're fucking hot! Maybe so, but I'm not telling everyone our child's secrets! Go be paranoid some more in your room, Chris! Have another drink, Kelly! Go be paranoid some more in your room, Have Chris! Have another drink, Kelly! Oh, hey, kiddo. Daddy's gonna go upstairs to his room. Mommy's gonna go get a drink. <laughs> Sweetie, you forgot to eat your dinner. Mommy put it down on the table. Come on, honey. Gotta eat your supper. Did you put more of that stuff in our child's food? Shut your fucking mouth! How do we know that medicine doesn't have side effects, huh? You know our child needs the medicine as much as I do! Ah! You drunken whore! Fucking pothead! How dare you make our child choose sides! You put the medicine in the food, too! I'm not having anyone choose sides! Go on down and eat your supper, champ. New kid, get dressed and meet me out front. Hurry, the night awaits. Cool room. It's about time. You know how hard it is to look mysterious when you're just standing around in some kid's front yard? It's pretty fucking hard. I'm glad you're with us, new kid. It's been tough being the only one on the team with real superpowers. While all the other kids are playing and working on their franchise plans, I'm stuck defending the city against evil, with barely any time to work on my pitch for a Mysterion spin-off movie. Sometimes it feels like a curse having these powers. You know how it is, because you're like me. I'm sure the power of your ass weighs heavy on you. Tina! Don't like to talk about it, huh? That's okay, I understand. Let's Tina, just get to the police station and find the evidence Tina. we need. Tina, I'm sorry! No, ma'am. No, please don't. 
I'll be a good boy, I promise. Wow, the adults in this town are really out of their fucking minds. It's the farting vigilante! Oh god, I wish I had some time. Jesus! Oh, you like eggs? What a bunch of dicks! It's worse than I thought, you kid. This is not normal. You're really mysterious, new kid. And coming from Mysterion, that's really high praise. Look, there they are! All right, Freedom Pals, here's the plan. Once we get inside the police station, Toolshed and the new kid will set up a diversion and then the... Wait a minute. What the fuck? Yeah, come on, guys. Uh, we've got to get inside the police station. What are you assholes doing here? We're here to investigate a hot lead regarding the South Park police. Ah, that's what we're doing! Oh, no. No, no, this is our superhero mission, Freedom Pals. Fuck you guys. Get lost before there's a fight. Fellas, fellas, have we all forgotten there's a little girl in trouble in there? Fast pass is right. I suppose that just this once we should put our petty differences aside and work together. All right, Mysterion, what's the plan? I think some of us should cause a diversion. Make the cops head towards it so the rest of us can sneak in without the cops noticing. Good idea. Coon friends will go up the fire escape and cause the diversion so Freedom Pals can sneak in the front. This is all pretty coincidental. Did you guys just steal our lead again? Innocent people are being arrested, Toolshed. That's all that matters to us. It should be all that matters to you. Okay, Coon friends up the fire escape. Come on, guys. Stand by. We gotta wait for the diversion. Come take a look at this. Oh, man, that's strong shit. Yeah, does this coke seem a little off to you? No, no, this is sweet. You guys wanna call some hookers? What the fuck was that? Come on, let's check it out. Bring the coke. All right, come on, Butlord. The coast is clear. Oh shit, a criminal! And he's with an innocent child! Code red, assault on the precinct! Wow, I didn't see that coming. Ah, shit. I guess we're dealing with these guys ourselves. Freeze, vigilante! Well, come here first and then freeze. Let me know if you're carrying any drugs. I wouldn't want them to get broken. Oh, thank God! Call the paramedics already! Ha! Ah, storm Fred is brewing! Storm's brewing! <laughs> You'll be feeling that for a while! If I'm not your worst nightmare, I aspire to be. Engage! Temper tornado! Alright! Now what? That's enough! Just stand down, kid! Look. I know why you're here. You're fed up. Because you think all cops do is harass black people. I know that to a young kid it can seem like cops are racist and bigoted, but you can't believe what the media tells you. Cops are just people. Like you, your friends, your family. People who work hard to- Spook! Oh! Uh, Tupperware! Damn it, Levinsky, get your ass upstairs, sir! And turn on the alarm! That fucking asshole shot at me! Get him! Get us out of here! Token, thank God you're here, son. Dad! What the fuck are you doing here? Hey, you're the one who got me put in here! They're trying to free the criminal! Get down! Get down! I'm gonna beat you down and then lock you up, as is my constitutional right. Get down! Get down! Huh? Show no weakness. Hands up! <laughs> you protesters seem to forget. Retribution, but with inclusion. Okay, okay. I know this looks bad. You really think cops just go around arresting black people for no reason? What purpose could that possibly serve? It's reverse discrimination. That's what it is. If we were all black cops and our jails were filled with white people, nobody would say a word. So I guess you've learned that the real bigots here are you. Huh, kids? Guess you can all go home. No? Fuck. We're innocent, so breaking out of jail isn't a crime, right? I'm not sticking around to find out. I smell a class action lawsuit. Supreme Court, here we come. Token, what did I tell you about playing too rough? 
But mom, I was defending justice. I don't care what you were defending. You could have gotten hurt. But Tupper can't get hurt. He's impervious to pain. Is he impervious to getting his butt spanked? No. That's right. You know what a cop is, new kid? A cop is a slave. A robot who's told not to think for himself. It's the politicians who are the real bigots. That mayor has been sitting in her office telling us we have to change our ways. The only way to have her removed was to raise crime in the streets. And now cops are finally able to do things the old way again. Don't you see this is better for everyone? Holy shit, that scramble! What? You found the missing cat, butt lord! Freedom pals, we've got the police chief, top floor! What can I say, you kids have me by the balls. Almost by the balls. You know, not every prisoner we have here is black. We actually do have one white guy. This is a trap! I'm sorry, kids, but you left me no choice. He's still looking good. Eating the Subway sandwiches. His name is Jared and he's still looking good. Hey, kids. You want some candy? Oh, fuck, it's Jared. You'll excuse me if I don't want to watch this. I just love conjugal visits. How'd you kids like to see my famous footlong? Anyone else taste ozone? Oh, I'm up? Okay. Enemy down! What are the police doing with the people they arrested? Oh, how should I know? I'm just a sandwich guy. New kid, fart in his face. No! No, please, please, I'm sorry! I'll tell you anything! What is the police chief hiding? There's... there's more cells down below. Cops take that elevator. Prisoners go down there, but they don't come back. What's the code? Come on, how should I know, huh? Ah, ah, yeah, yeah, I seen him type it in. 1477. Please, I, I'm sorry. It's just that I like being with children, you know, because I because I never had a childhood of my own. Yeah, that's it. I like kids because I never had a childhood. It's your decision, new kid. Part of being a superhero is deciding what to do in moments like these. That was hardcore. All right, well, that was pretty uncomfortable. I know being a vector for disease is kind of my thing, but I, I feel kind of dirty. Should we do anything with the body? Yeah. This is a one-time shot, Coon. After tonight, we are enemies again. Our petty little differences aren't what matter right now, Mysterion. Black lives matter. Yeah, dick. You're a fucking dick, Mosquito. Huh? What was that? Hello? Hello, is someone there? No, I guess no one's there. Or else they would have said something. All right, then. It's just me and you, kitty. No one's gonna find us in here. Come on. Give me that good stuff. Hey, stop it. Hold still! Oh, bananas. The cat got away. Can't see a thing in here. Sounds like the cat's getting into the toxic chemicals. Oh, darn it, that's not good. I hope those weren't the toxic chemicals I was just talking about that broke on the floor just now. Oh, oh no, I, I think they were. Drat. If those chemicals mix together on the floor, it'll turn into a gas that'll kill me in seconds. Blast it, there's the gas. Yes, <laughs> it's definitely killing me now. <laughs> oh, oh, thank God. The exhaust fan's sucking out the toxic gas. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna die. Now, where's that blasted cat? <laughs> oh, no. I think the cat just jumped into the exhaust fan and jammed it. The gas is filling up the room and it's killing me again. I'm dying again. 
<laughs> Sounds like the emergency door close. Yep, the emergency door close. I'm trapped in here. So I need to get out of here. Just have to <coughs> feel around for the doorknob. Here, here it is. Yes, I'm saved. Oh, blast it. The door's locked. Now I'm stuck in here. Somebody help me. The gas is killing me. I'm really dying this time. Seriously, I can feel myself dying. It's so painful. Help! For the, for the love of everything, if you're, if you're there, you can heal me right now. Do something. It's it's killing me. It's killing me. Wait. I think I feel the light switch. With my last breath, I'll just turn it on. You kid. Brilliant detective work, by hope. Yeah, yeah, Shab Nigarath. Black goat of the woods. Blessed be us, your faithful servants, the destroyers of light. Yeah, yeah, Shab Nigarath. Black goat of 1,000 morbid young. Draw down the moon and extinguish the sun. All right, let him go. No! Ah, uh, sir? Huh? Oh, I see. I guess because cops feed African Americans to an elder god, they're racist. Shub Nigarov is an outer god, kids, who must be appeased and whose coming was foretold by the great H.P. Lovecraft. But I suppose H.P. Lovecraft was a racist, too. Oh, fuck. Was he really? Like, like how racist? Really, really? Yo, it's my homeboy! Get me the fuck up out of here! These niggas completely cry! Let's end it! Alright, you kids wanna battle? Let's do this. We can't let that happen again. Okay, chuck another one in. Oh, fucking hell no! Ow! Oh, shit! No! The all-mother can't stand white meat! Death is coming, better run! The All Mother demands black flesh! Let's dance. I mean, not literally, because I don't dance. Let, let's punch. You thugs have no respect for the badge! Kill the heretics! No! I will not let you bring harm to the goat with a thousand young! I'm here to protect thee, my queen! You about to get some out of God dick up your ass! That's a bad way to go. Welcome. Who are you? Oh my god, you guys! We've got a hundred bucks to get our franchise off the ground! Fucking Coonin' Friends! Fuck yeah, you guys! We did it, dude! That was awesome! One hundred dollar reward money, here we come! Whoa, whoa, wait! What's going on? Where are you taking that cat? Oh, uh, yeah, sorry, Freedom Pals. There's, a uh, certain intel we have that we can't share with you. You know, it's classified. That's because we've been tricked! Ah, oh, fuck. The new kid played us, Freedom Pals. Wanting to join our side was a ruse. What? Yeah, the new kid kinda totally fucked you guys over, sorry. They followed our lead to the police station and now intend to get a hundred dollar reward for that missing cat. Well, all is fair in love and war, Freedom Pussies. <laughs> I love when you call them Freedom Pussies. You assholes! We're the ones that stopped the police chief's evil plan. We deserve that hundred dollar reward. Oh yeah? Just try and take it from us. We will! Civil War III, it's going down! That's it, new kid. We're gonna rip you apart. No, Mysterion. We won't fight the new kid. They will. All right, new kid. Time to die. Let's get this little shit. I'll hold him off, sidekick. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> My trusty helmet must shield.
shield me from your mental powers. Okay, but then why didn't my brain get hacked? Sorry, Chaos. Unfortunately, Dr. Timothy can only dominate so many minds at once. Come on! Punish the new kid! Yeah! Bet you didn't see that coming. God damn it! All right, butthole, let's do this. Ah, uh, get out of my head, Doctor Timothy. I'm with you, butthole. The doctor infected my brain, but but I'm back now, Fart Lord, and I'm ready to suck. <laughs> ah, I'm so angry at you, new kid. <laughs> yeah. Well, fuck, new kid. I guess we'll have to settle this the old-fashioned way. You raped a lot of minds today, Dr. Timothy. Now you're gonna pay. I'll take this call, guys. <laughs> Victory! Whoa, what the... what happened? How'd my lip get busted? Where the fuck did Classy go? Dr. Timothy! You fucking animal! He was trying to help us! Dude, Mysterion is pissed at you, new kid. You guys started this war, not us! You don't fucking understand! Dr. Timothy was working on a way to save all of us! Freedom pals and coon friends! What? Uh, t -t -t Easy, Doc. You've taken a lot of hits. Wow, this is your guy's base? This is fantastic! This looks like so much fun! Yeah, I mean, Coon Lair has a lot of cool stuff, too. But yeah, this is cool. Dr. Timothy was never your enemy. He was trying to help us all. But how? With this. Oh my god, he's figured it out. It was Dr. Timothy's passion. He worked tirelessly on it. A franchise plan that involved everyone. Each hero got their own movie and TV series. Every hero mathematically equal to the other. Jesus, this is incredible. Timothy almost worked himself to death trying to come up with it. <laughs> so while we were out trying to stick it to you guys, Timmy was actually trying to include us. Yeah, and then this kid nearly killed him. We're sorry the new kid is an asshole. That isn't our fault. Yeah, we were just using you guys. There's a hundred dollar reward for this cat. And you wanted her to yourselves. Yeah, but not anymore. If we proved anything tonight, it's that we are the best when we are all together. It's too late for that. We all started as one team. We all wanted to be superheroes for the same reason. To sell our franchise and make millions of dollars. Let's be one team again. I agree. Come on, guys, no more civil war. Let's get the reward money for this cat and use it together for one franchise. Yeah, let's do it. All right. But we're calling it Freedom Pals? Freedom Pals. And so, like, Timmy is sort of the leader of Freedom Pals? He's like, he's like the one in charge? Yes. Well, I think it's awesome. Honestly, Freedom Pals is a way better name than Coon and Friends. Freedom Pals. Freedom Pals. I'm super cool with this. Then it's settled. Tomorrow, we get the reward money for Scrambles, and we use it to kickstart Timmy's franchise plan. Together. Freedom Pals, Retribution, but with, with inclusion. inclusion! Fuck yeah, you guys. Let's do this. The news program that starts your day off right. Good morning, South Park. An attack on the SPPD police station last night has left citizens in shock and disbelief. With prisoners now on the loose and policemen in the hospital, one member of the Chamber of Commerce has had enough and is announcing his bid for mayor. The citizens of South Park deserve to feel safe. Safe from vigilantes who go around farting on people's heads. Together. We can free ourselves from the anal terrorism that has been forced upon us. My name is Mitch Connor, and I endorse this message. Don't you 
sometimes feel like you have no idea what to do next? In any direction, and you're unsure what's even going on. It's because you've been trying to find yourself in the wrong way. Knowing your sexual identity or race or ethnicity, that's nothing compared to knowing who you are spiritually. Go to the pond, my child. Someone is waiting for you at the pond who will finally help you find your true self. Psst. Psst. Kid, over here. I've been watching you, and I believe we can help each other. Have you heard of the Super Best Friends? Well, it is I, Seaman! A powerful superhero with the amazing ability to talk to fish and swim. It's Seaman! That sea man! It is my job to help all creatures of the sea. And right now, there is a gay fish who wants help getting his mother into heaven. I want to help the little gay fish, but all the other super best friends keep saying they're too busy. Will you help? Then swim down to the water's depth with me. Don't worry, my water defenses shall protect you. And so, the new kid dives down through the water, protected by seamen. Sea man! down to where the little gay fish makes his home. Boo-hoo-hoo! Oh, boo-hoo-hoo, boo-hoo, boo-hoo! Do not cry, little fish! I have returned and with help! Oh, thank you, Seaman. You really think you can help my mom get to heaven? It's Seaman, and yes, I do. This child has incredible powers. All right, if you get my mom into heaven, I will give you three million dollars and some jewelry. Just touch my little gay flipper, and we shall be magically transported to help her. Touching the gay fish's flipper, Seaman and his sidekick are transported to Valhalla, where another fish rides a unicorn. I'm here, Mama! Is that you, baby? It's me! We're gonna get you to heaven, Mama! Just hold on! This kid's gonna help us! Okay, baby! Whatever you say, you little gay fish! And so, Seaman's sidekick had to help the gay fish's mom fly to heaven on a stream of rainbow unicorn farts. That's Seaman! Again! This road leads right to heaven, Ma! Just watch out for those columns! This is so exciting. But even as the gay fish's mom got closer to heaven, the path became more treacherous. No one's ever seen shit like this before. You think this shit's regular? Uh oh, you're going so fast. I'll just get to heaven quicker, baby. We should put this whole event on a gold disc and send it into space so that aliens can see it. The gay fish's mom was nearly to the outskirts of heaven, but then Zazul appeared. Oh no, that demon represents all my haters. It's fine, Bob, that I can read tweets people send me because they don't understand my genius. This is one of the most amazing things of all time. Of all time. to me. Mama! Hold on a sec. What is that? You have done very well, my child. Thank you, Jesus. Not you, Seaman. The kid. Seaman! Oh, yeah, right. Anyway, you had no reason to help this little gay fish, my child. And yet, you did. Kid had every reason to help me. I'm a lyrical genius voice of a generation. I see that you were trying to determine your spirituality, my child. Allow me to help thee. There are good and bad in every religion, my child. Which are you? Lawful. Neutral. Chaotic. Neutral. Lawful. Neutral. Agnostic. Wiccan. Okay, you're a neutral Wiccan. Oh, wait! I bet you want a selfie with Jesus, right? Congratulations, my child. You know who you are now. You are one step closer to believing in yourself. Good luck, my little neutral Wiccan. Well, well, well. Look at what we've got here. We've got ourselves a genderless, 
pansexual, Latino, American, neutral, wicked. Dang, Cletus, why are you talking like that? Dialogue tree. Oh, I got you. We don't take kindly to your types around here. Let's welcome this thing to our town. Today is the last day of the rest of your life. My God's a vengeful God, and he told me to fuck you up. Yeah. We don't take kindly to different viewpoints around here. Start counting on you, partner. Hey. Uh, God damn you. I'm gonna beat you straight. It's the only way. Yeah. You ain't converting me to your slightly different beliefs. Go down, new kid. Yeah, I saw that coming. I'm gonna take you. You don't get to go. You won't see me coming. You're so melodramatic, dude. I got a lot of pathos. You should get that looked at. My turn. Make it this one to rule. Nah, I did not. Tell them what you made up, butthole. This was only going to end one way. Those are freedom pals. All freedom pals report to base immediately. I repeat, all freedom pals to base. Ah, uh, it's destroyed. It's all gone, man. Timmy's franchise plan. All that work. It's barely even readable. It must have come in the night. Got past the security grid. <laughs> Who the hell would do this? I'll bet it was the sixth graders. Only they would stoop to this level. No. This was someone who wanted to hurt us personally. Yes, Siri. Incoming video message. Play the message, full screen. Oh, oh. What is this place? Hey, isn't that the new kid's parents? <laughs> this is a message to Coon and friends. Oh, God damn it! Looks like I had something that the new kid wants. That's good, because the new kid had something that I want. Connor, that son of a bitch! Care to make a trade, new kid? Let's make a deal. Hey, listen, you're gonna be in big trouble if you don't... He hit me. Did you see that? Get outside, and then do exactly as I say, new kid, or you will never see your parents again. And hurry, or else there'll be more of this. Where are they, fat ass? Where is who, human cat? The new kid's parents, where are they? How should I know? Because that's fucking you. You took the new kid's parents because you hate that we merged with Freedom Pals. That's not true. I want this mega franchise more than anybody. Tell him, guys. You have five seconds, Cartman. I'm on your side. The new kid, you believe me, don't you? I'll prove my innocence, you assholes. Come on, we gotta get that fat fuck. Tell you where to go, and you're gonna go there on foot. No fast travel. You got that? The first one is easy. Go to the place where people get their coffee fix. Better hurry. Tick tock, tick tock. Hello, welcome to Tweet Coffee. What can I interest you in today? Oh, whoa, isn't that the vigilante? I don't know if you're a hero or a menace. Man, this coffee really has me buzzed. Hello? It's for you. That's real good, new kid. But now I'm gonna make things a little harder on you. Instead of telling you where to go, I'm giving you a riddle. You ready? A place where death comes in all shapes and sizes. Go into this door to find what your prize is. Dude, I'm so wasted on this stuff. So, you think you kinda outsmart a shitty ninjas? Oh. Don't think you can run from a shitty ninja. You see, shitty ninja always have a backup plan. You have made many enemies in this town, vigilante. And now, you will have to face us all at the same time. Group leaders, take it down, ma. Sixth graders! Boys and girls, assemble! 
They took our jobs! Haha, <laughs> Mr. Andy! Everybody mad at you! Prepare to die! Sixth graders just wanted to look at boobs, and you killed them! Time to die! Hey, you guys are so interesting. Not like those losers we're beating up. Let me show you misfits how you get her done. Huh? Little help over here? Means you can't do everything. Handle your own shit, dum dum. But Lord, it's me, buddy. A place where death comes in all shapes and sizes? What, what could it mean? We've got to solve this riddle. Take down Connor together and prove our innocence. And hey, thanks for being the only one who believes in me. Hey, new kid. I've been following what's going on. I'm trying to pinpoint Cartman's location. For now, just do what he says so he doesn't get suspicious. No, 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 no. Let gay fish be gay fish. That's what I'm saying. Come to this shop to sure see you what your understand. prize is. How could you? South Park has a lot of shops, but which fish? one involves death? What's the gay fish doing, they say? That's my great challenge. That's the weight on my shoulders to bring understanding to the people. You understand? Well, I, uh, but how could you? So, you solved my riddle, huh? You're not as dumb as I thought. You see the guy standing over there? Take a selfie with him. Do it now, your mom is gonna suffer. Crime fighting's not a game, vigilante. You're gonna get somebody killed. <laughs> You're getting close, new kid. But to find me, you're gonna have to solve one more riddle. I am a place where seats hang from chains. Part desert, part jungle, where happiness reigns. How did you solve my riddle? God, you're so smart. Wow, I'm so jelly. All right, you see that woman there? Go talk to her. He... He told me if I didn't do what he said, he'd do horrible things to my patio. Get a selfie with her. Do it now! I'm sorry. He, he said he would poop on my patio. What was I supposed to do? We just cleaned our patio. I had to do what he said. <laughs> <laughs> that should just about do it. Sorry, kid. I have what I need now. See you around! New kid, I got him. All of his messaging has been coming from the community center. You heard her, Freedom Pal! Everyone get to the community center now! You know, for a boy, you're kind of feminine, new kid. Where's everyone else? Doesn't matter. There's no time. Let's get this fat turd while we can. All right, one, two, three! Oh my god, look! Where, where, where? If it isn't the Freedom Pals and their newest recruit. What have you done with the new kid's parents, fat ass? Nothing yet. But when I'm finished with you, I can't say they'll be exactly safe. This has gone far enough. We end it now. The only thing about to end is you, Mysterio. We aren't gonna fight you, Carmen. Now put your stupid hand down and stop playing games. We have to stop him, you guys! He's got all the new kids' followers now! Even with their help, you can't stop me, King. We'll see about that, motherfucker! Alright, Cartman. You want us to kill Mitch Connor? We'll fucking kill him! <laughs> we can stop Mitch Connor, guys! Just try not to hit me! Sorry your parents got kidnapped, but Lord, I can totally relate as a kidnapped victim myself. How stupid do you think we are, Eric? How stupid do you think we are, Eric? Cat cow girl, you're so annoying. I have a really good feeling about this, guys. I think I deserve another turn after that. Hey, it's rude to interrupt someone's turn. Hey! You don't get That's to not go! Fair. Your muscular body makes the most effective human shield, Kuhn. I am known for my super strength, son of a bitch. Yeah. Ah. Damn it, Connor, stop hurting my friends! Friends? What friends? That causes gross out, actually. Have you no honor, villain? Beware of the kid. <laughs> no, Connor, not cool. You're also bleeding from that. How does it 
feel having your friend's blood on your hands, Kane. Oh, and that applies to shock, too. Someone's feeling pretty woozy about right now, and for once it's not me. Retribution, but with inclusion. Wow, you did it, guys. You beat Mitch Carter. Where are they? Where are the new kid's parents? <laughs> You'll never know. I don't know. Shit, he's gone. Come on, we're taking this fat piece of shit back to base. What fat piece of shit, human cat? The only way we're going to get Carmen to talk is to torture him. Yeah, sometimes torture is the only answer. You're gonna torture me for what? Everyone get back to Freedom Pal's base. We have to make this shithead talk. What are you talking about? Guys, it's me, the king. What the? What is wrong with you guys? I am not your enemy. You're gonna talk, Cartman. New kid, you're going to have to make Cartman talk. What? What are you gonna do with that? You guys are wasting your time. I'm the Coon. Torture doesn't work against me, remember? So, so what? I, I just have to watch you eat? Is that it? I'm, I'm not afraid. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't we start looking for the new kid's parents? See? It, it doesn't even phase me. Guys, I really wish we could just wrap this up. Oh, back. Not, no, not even a little bit. I can gobble those farts up. See? Yum, 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 yum. Is that a cuttlefish? Oh, no, I, I prefer salmon myself. Oh, no, nope, nope. No, those farts don't bother me at all. Hit him again. Oh, jeez. Well, I, I guess we're done here, huh? Can someone reach around and get this knot? Oh, no, you're not gonna eat that vomit-covered broccoli. It's not organic. Oh, now that's pretty gross, you guys. Oh, God. Yeah, you guys might as well give up. They're not done. <laughs> Oh, wait, 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 you guys! Oh, my God! Oh, the, the cats! What cats? I just remembered! C Connor! I think the, the fudge jarred my memory. The, he said something about making cats more powerful. That, 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 yeah, that's it! He must he must want to genetically alter the cats! The genetics lab, Dr. Mephesto. Yes, that must be it, guys! All right, the new kid's here. Come on, new kid! Can I help you? Yeah, hi. We signed up for the tour. Ah, yes, the night tour, correct? Uh, yeah, we're a little early. Well, I'm afraid for safety purposes, the tours are only offered from 10 p.m. to midnight. What, just to be extra spooky? It'll be worth the wait, my friends. See you tonight. Shit. Well, now what do we do? We'll just have to wait. We can't afford to let anyone else go in or out of this gate. I agree, we're just gonna have to wait here till nighttime. Okay, how far away is that? Uh, about six hours. All right, just wait six hours and we're good to go. Oh, God, okay, how long now? Right around six hours still. Jesus, fuck. You know, kid, you still have yet to tap the full potential of your time-bending ass. 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 Something that could enhance your ability could possibly make time pass more quickly. Quickly. You see that AC fan over there? Right there, behind you. Over by the gate. On the left side. Can't miss it. If you fart into that fan, the oscillation of the gas will filter it through the expansion valve, mixing it with the pressurized refrigerant inside the condenser coils. 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 Don't question if that makes any sense, kid. Just fart in the fan. Come on. I'll fire it up for you right now. Oh, 
Oh, some young people interested in genetic engineering, huh? Wonderful, please come in. Oh, hello. Oh, there's more. Hello, sir. My, my, there's a lot of you. Timmy! Well, I'm so pleased that you children are interested in genetic engineering. Genetic science began as a simple question. Can a monkey be made to have four asses instead of one? The answer was yes. And now we've been able to give more asses to pigs, horses, everything you can imagine. Yes, little boy. How did that help? Oh, you're one of the cynics, huh? Well, meet me over here for the tour and I'll show you how. Come on, don't be shy. We don't want to miss the four asses gorilla feeding. Please have a seat. You ever play that video game Half-Life? Okay, here we go. Here you can see our greenhouse. Genetic engineering is helpful to grow larger tomatoes, onions, cucumbers. Fruits and vegetables with more asses means more nutrition for people all around the planet. What good does that do? Oh, you Bible thumpers are all alike. Don't play God, you'll pay for it. <laughs> Let's continue up to the second level, shall we? Another benefit of genetic science, of course, is combining animals. Like these donkey apes, bunny fish, squirrel donkeys, and more. Once we put more asses on these, we will truly be benefiting science. Will you please explain how that benefits science at all? What's your name, little boy? Super Craig. You see, Super Craig, once we know how to do things to animals, we can hopefully apply them to mankind. You think having more asses is impossible? I tell you it's not. You see, genetic engineering is not just for animals and veggies. We are working towards helping people as well. Here you can see genetic mutations of my dead son. Most people don't remember that I once had a young child named Terrence. Oh yeah, I remember that kid. I was wondering whatever happened to him. Terrence was killed tragically in town when some kids were playing around with a relic belonging to Barbara Streisand. Oh, jeez, I think that was us. So, you're doing this all as a way to bring back your dead son? Bring him back? Oh, of course not. I'm trying to give his dead body more asses so he can finally rest in peace. Now let's continue on to the fourth floor. Oh, fuck. Well, here we are. The top floor of the building and the end of our tour. What are these? These horrible, monstrous mistakes of science. Our new benefactor has asked that we genetically alter some of the local sixth graders and make them stronger and crazier. Okay, okay. Why the fuck would you do that? How do you mean? Why the fuck? Would you make genetically enhanced sixth graders? Calm down, Super Craig. How do you think we pay for all this? We have financial donors. Our latest benefactor has asked for this army of mutated sixth graders to protect his altered cats. What altered cats? Oh, right over this way. A wealthy benefactor named Mr. Connor has donated money to have stray cats enhanced with more asses. Our company can add asses to things at very competitive rates. The problem is that cats seem to become really aggressive when given more asses. They've proven to be quite deadly. Then why would you bring a bunch of kids up here? Look, there's nothing to worry about. This entire facility has a very complex security grid. Huh, that's never happened before. Oh shit, someone shut down the security grid. What do you mean? <laughs> Hello, Freedom Pals. What are you doing, fat ass? So, you figured out my little plan, huh, Freedom Pal? Think you can stop me? Oh, I have someone here who'd like to say hello, new kid. Go on top. Guys? Guys, it's me, the kid. Will you knock it off? Listen to me. Don't make any deals with this piece of garbage. He's an animal. Ah! That's enough out of you, kid. You've been a real pain in my ass, new kid. You should have known not to mess with Mitch Connor. Where the fuck are you? Mr. Connor, if you shut down the security grid, then everyone in this building is going to die. What? Sorry, Doc. Sometimes sacrifices have to be made for the greater good of the city. So long, Freedom Pal. Today is the last day of the rest of your life. I'm sorry, kids, but we're probably all going to die. Son of a bitch, that hurts! 
We work, compadres. Activity is on the move. You've got this, butthole. Failure in the aquarium. Why is that even a button? Super doxed. Oh, we'll never browse in this town again. Poor creatures. We must escape the lab. Maybe. Maybe we can go through some of the larger exhibits. This way, children. Oh, well, I really didn't think that was gonna work. I've got your back down there if you get it. Mutant sixth graders are on the loose. This was definitely not supposed to happen. Ugh, so dumb. Parents are dumb. Yeah, adults are stupid. Oh, Jesus. It's okay. We'll be safe in the tour tram. Oh, the tour tram is offline. Somebody's gonna have to get to the CPU and hit the override switch. Where's the CPU? Down on the third level. Oh, it was silly to put it there, wasn't it? So somebody has to walk down to the third level and flip the switch? One, two, three, not it, not it, not, not it, not it, not it. <laughs> not it. Sorry, new kid, but it really should be you anyway. Yeah, if you think about it, this is all kind of your fault. Arr, school is dumb. I put the stairs behind that portal door, but to open the door, you're gonna need power. The whole point of stairs is not to need electricity! Get that generator powered up, and the access to the stairs will open. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at the little fourthy! Jasper, get over here, dude. There's a picture of some boobs, man. Boobs? I want to see some boobs. Where? I told you not to block the boobs. You're not the boss of me. I'm trying to see boobs. Boobs are for sharing. Nothing else beating on you guys is really therapeutic for me. It's done! Perfect! Don't move! Return to the tire fires of 4chan once you came! For my own good. <laughs> Hashtag diabeting. This was only going to end one way. That's it. He's cleared the way. The CPU should be right through that door, kid. We'll come down and join you. New kid, thank God. You've got to stop him. He's out of his mind. Cartman, you fucking asshole. What are you doing? Connor brought me here, human cat. The sick son of a bitch. Uh, you shut up, Coon. Soon this town will be rid of you and all the Coon friends. We're freedom pals, fat ass. We know what you're doing, Eric. Putting cat urine into people's drugs and alcohol to make them crazy. We want to know why. Yeah, why, you sick piece of... Uh, do I really have to spell it out, Coon? This city is sick. We both know it. There's only one time of year when this town is the way it should be. 
on Christmas. So I joined the Chamber of Commerce and used them to unleash my master plan. Escalate crime in the city, blame crime on mayor, run for mayor, get tons of followers, clone new kid into genetic mutant, win election, make everyday Christmas. What do you think? Pretty sweet plan, right? Dude, quick! Take a selfie! It's almost a shame that no one will ever know how perfectly my plan worked. Dude, you've gone too far this time. Nobody's gonna let you be mayor. Who oh, no? I've got all the new kids' followers. Every last one of them is now following me. Geez, that was smart. Eric, I know that Christmas every day sounds like fun, but it really wouldn't be. Fuck you, Dr. Timothy. If you guys don't mind, I've got an election to win. No, no, no. God damn it! Well, there goes the main CPU. Darn it, why did I put that thing on a mobilized trap door? Why wouldn't you? I'm afraid now someone will have to go clear to the ground level and call for the tour tram from there. All right, fine. Hurry up, new kid. We gotta get out of here. Yeah, new kid. Stop wasting time. Oh, Lord, is that you? It is. Cupcake, it's me, Daddy. They're trying to get DNA from your mother and I. You have to get me out of here. That computer is waiting for a DNA sample from your mother. Quick, she's in the next room. Go get Mommy's DNA sample and bring it here. Hurry! Uh, 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 sixth graders came out of nowhere. My legs are broken, sweetie. Mommy can't walk. You have to go into town and get help. Sweetheart, listen to me. They were about to cut off your father's head to scan his DNA. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but you have to finish the job. The only way out of here is to kill Daddy. I heard that! What the hell is wrong with you? Can I have a conversation with our child without being criticized? Oh, you're the victim again, huh? Like you don't deconstruct everything I say. Okay, Mr. Never Wrong in his life. Go, go do it, sweetie. Go cut off Daddy's head. Hurry! What'd she say? Did she say how nothing is her fault like usual? I knew something like this would happen, and it's why I've told your mother to keep her fucking mouth shut! Fuck you! I told you if our child's powers were discovered, they'd try to harvest our DNA and make a genetic clone! You did fucking not! Listen, kiddo. The CPU is waiting for either of our DNA. Just trick your mom into walking over to it. Don't make our child choose sides! That's so unfair! I'm trapped inside of a tube thingy! My legs are broken and my arm is almost ripped off! I could bleed to death if I move! You hear that? Go get mommy's arm. That should do it. No! No, kiddo! That operates the laser! Stop! You're gonna kill daddy! Please! Your mom has you confused! She's the problem! Go kill her! I've done nothing but love you! This is your last chance! Don't hit that last button! Hey, wait, wait, wait! Before you do this, before you do this, go ask your mom about what she's been putting in your food! Trust me! Just go ask her, you'll want to know this! Sweetie, you have to cut off your father- Ouch! No, please, baby! I've lost a lot of blood already! Uh, uh, I'm so scared! I'm so scared! Goodbye! Daddy loves you so much! You did the right thing, sweetheart. Now get out of here and go get help. Organic DNA sample accepted. There we go. You see, that wasn't so hard, was it? What took you so long, new kid? You're just screwing around having fun? All right, Freedom Pals. We've got to get out to the town and tell everyone what Cartman is doing. I don't think so, guys. You came all this way just to die, Coon and Friends. Freedom Pals! Coon and Friends. Freedom Pals! Coon and Friends, Coon and Friends, Coon and Friends! Careful, guys. He's got some kind of super weapon. It's over, fat ass. We're gonna tell everyone on you. Yeah, you hear that, Connor? You sick son of a bitch! Ah! You shut up, King. We need each other, don't you get it? I create the crime and you stomp it out. I am good for your franchise. Oh, fuck, I get it now. But then the new kid had to come along and try to stop me for good. I had no choice but to have my own new kid built. 
What have you done, Eric? Simple. How do you stop a coon friend? By creating a massive, genetically altered coon friend from that hero's DNA. What? Oh, dude, that's so fucking base. What, what do you mean, King? Really? You're just gonna fight a superhero by creating a big genetic mutant from the hero's DNA? That's like every douchebag superhero movie ever. Yeah, because it's key. It's not key. No, no, it's cool because it's like the ultimate enemy. Oh, give me a break. Well, anyways, I wasn't able to finish getting the new kid's DNA, so I had to resort to cloning a different superhero. Which superhero? Augmented superhero squashing his tiny foes into a viscous red pace. Pretend I'm not here. Take this! Ooh. Leave our friend alone, Fiend! Oh, here we go! Oh, Come out, asshole! Oh, time out, time out! I got a smudge on my Gwazi! We can't beat this thing! We have to hold off until daytime! His skin can't handle the sun! How are we gonna last till daytime? I don't know, but we have to try. Okay, time in. I finished cleaning my gravy. I get a real sense of accomplishment from applying my sunscreen. Inside the ass that counts. Oh, oh, I think I got a pulled muscle. I don't think I should play anymore. It, it. Nuki, were you okay? That last fart might have killed you. That was pretty amazing, dude. I've never heard anyone rip one like that. Well, I hope you've all enjoyed the tour. Maybe now you have a new appreciation for what genetic engineering has to offer. You're now all free to exit right through the gift shop. Gift shop? Feel free to look around before enjoying the rest of your day. Perhaps you'd like to buy a I Survived Genetic Mutants t-shirt, or purchase a photo of you enjoying the tour. Lots of great things to remember your visit. Let's get the fuck out of here. That was bullshit. All right, we gotta go tell on Cartman. Uh, who do we tell? I don't know, what time is it? It's, oh shit, oh no! What is it, Mysterion? Dude, the new kid farted so big he made it next week. What? Check your phones. It's ten days later! Oh, great! The new kid farted us to next week! Damn it! He screwed us! Way to go, new kid! Carmen's being sworn in as mayor today, and it's all the new kid's fault! Come on, Freedom Pals, we have to stop him! Yeah! Woohoo! We won, bitches! You kinda remind me of my sister, yeah. Yeah. and his yeah. beard girls to protect you. Mitch Carter's mayor! The whole mayor's office is blocked like a fortress! How can Cartman do that? He can do whatever he wants! He's mayor! Look! Up in the window! Oh, no. 
It's over. We lost. But we can't lose. Face it, Kyle. Thanks to the new kid, Carmen is mayor, and there's no one left to help us. New kid. New kid, come in. Who's that? Pretty sure that's Morgan Freeman. New kid. There's been some kind of time shift anomaly. I can only assume it came from your ass. Come to the taco shop. We have to fix this. You heard the man. All Freedom Pals report to Freeman's Tacos now. All right, the new kid's here. Morgan Freeman says he can help us stop Cartman. How do we stop him now? He's already been elected mayor. It's the new kid's fault. He ordered us forward in time. New kid, your farts have sped up time. We have to somehow go back and stop Mitch Connor from ever rising to power. This is the seven-layer Quesarito Chipotle Beefy Nacho Supreme. The last time someone tried it, they farted so bad it created a wormhole that made time travel possible. Now, I have to warn you, friend. Once you eat the seven-layer Quesarito Chipotle Beefy Nacho Supreme, there is no going back. Make sure you have everything you need before you eat this. Do you understand? You know, for a boy, you're kind of feminine, new kid. So you're ready to eat the seven-layer Quesarito Chipotle Beefy Nacho Supreme? Now you must fart back in time to before Mitch Connor was sworn into office. You can do it. You just have to believe in yourself. New kid, South Park is a really scary place on Christmas. Oh, hey boys, Merry Christmas. I'm so fucked up. I feel like it's been Christmas for a year. What'd they put in these drinks? Mr. Mackey, there's cheese in your alcohol. You have to stop drinking. No, but it's the holidays, boys. You guys, nothing wrong with a little drink on the. Oh, God, it's them again! <laughs> Now don't be scared, y'all. We're simply here to celebrate the coming of our Lord and Savior. Uh, Merry Christmas, everybody. Hey, look, it's the vigilante the mayor told us about. If we murder him, we get a prize. Yay! 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 Where there's crime, there's Call Girl. <laughs> My Christmas gift to you. Oh, wow, Yuri, great roasting. Thanks, friends. Woohoo! Praise Satan. Oh, that really warmed him up. Oh, Foxy, your duck magic is just excellent. Hail Satan! Ah. Nothing finer than Hellfire. Dude, these critters are impossible to beat. They're gonna kill us. It's over, man. Wait a minute. It's Christmas. I know who can help. New Kid, you have to pray to Christ. Yes, yes, of course. New Kid, you have to put your faith in Christ. Do you understand? Pray to Jesus, New Kid. It's our only hope. That's not enough, New Kid. You have to pray to Christ more. Beg for his salvation. 
Come on, new kid, put your faith in Jesus. Pray to Christ, or we're all dead! The new kid did it! Someone's coming! Alright, who the fuck called Santa down from the sky? You killed my reindeer! Ho 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 ho! Santa Claus? Well, now maybe we can eat his flesh. Hail Satan! Oh, you little fuck critters again, huh? Santa's gonna kick the shit out of you! Well, Chunks, we weren't expecting Santa to show up. Whatever will we do? We're in a bit of a bind, Rabbity. Don't be sad, Barry. Shucks, I can just sacrifice myself. Hooray! Santa's about to go to town on your ass. Oh, uh. Harder, Master! Beat me harder! Here comes Rackini! You're welcome, kids. Now, what the fuck is this all about? We're sorry, but we're trying to go back in time, but the new kid has a fractured butthole, so we're trying to get him to the abortion clinic. Oh, I see. All right, you kids get his ass fixed. Santa will hold off these drunken fuckwads. Get moving to the abortion clinic. Hey, stand back, kids. We got a lot of abortions today. It's Christmas. We need a doctor to look at our friend's asshole. Let me guess, who's got a big crack down the middle, ha ha. No! Please, you have to listen! None of this is supposed to happen! The mayor has to be stopped! We know how to do it! The mayor? That scumbag made the town the shithole it is today! We can put a stop to it, please! Just look at our friend's ass! Yeah, it's fractured, all right. Can you fix it? Well, I put a splint on it and a little sling to take pressure off the sphincter. Try it, kid. Try to take us back. You can do it, new kid. You got this, butthole. Holy shit, dude! We should be happy that he's made friends in this town so quickly. We came here to hide. More friends just means more trouble. You're being paranoid. You need to lay off that stuff. It's changing you. Oh, lay off. It's the one thing that helps me relax from your stupid shit. Oh, hey, whippersnapper. Didn't see you there. Your friends are downstairs, kiddo. Get out there and play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. are attempting to overtake Koopa Keep. You gotta come fight, my liege. You're our only hope. Who's that? Hey, we're not playing superheroes, dumbass. Come on, new kid. Smile oh. real good, King. Get out of the way, you guys. We gotta stop Cartman before he starts all this. What are you kids doing? We stopped playing superheroes like five days ago. Yeah, get lost, juice bags. This isn't a trick, it's me, Craig. Fuck you, dude, I'm Craig. We don't have time for this. Stand aside, we have to get to Cartman. Well, you just have to get past us and our king. You don't understand. This is way bigger than just a game. Ah, oh, man, this is why we didn't let girls play in the first place. Turn erased. You don't stand a chance. Superheroes are so last summer. What? When was the last time a fantasy franchise got number one at the box office? Blazer drills.
This is a job for the King's Cutting Rogue. You're not gonna last long fighting all of us yourself, Pass. So, I wouldn't be so foolish, stupid Craig. Uchin no Jutsu! Are you serious? That's so fucking late. Ugh, guess I gotta take this asshole on. I got your back, Craig! Okay, I I'll be the third wheel. Now you're gonna get it. Nice one! Not gonna up! Lights, teeth, whatever. Joking? It's like the rules don't even matter. Jesus Christ, did you see that? Oh, hi, kids. I believe Eric is up in his room. Guys! I was just traveling back in time to find you! A cat's missing. There's a big reward. Wait, why are you guys already playing superheroes? We know what you're up to, fat ass! Mysterion? But you're with the Freedom Pals! We're all Freedom Pals! We're from the future, you fat turd! No, I'm from the future. I was just coming back to stick a truth time to get you guys. We aren't playing anymore! We know everything! Show us your left hand! My left hand for what? Show us your fucking left hand! Heh. <laughs> Hello, Freedom Pass. Time travel. Ain't it a bitch? Connor, what the hell are you doing here? I had a plan to use the new kid as means to get what I always wanted. But it looks like some do-gooders traveled back in time to stop me. Cartman, I swear to God, if you don't knock it off, I'm... But that's okay, because I still know something you all don't. What's that? How to make someone fart super bad by hitting them in the solar plexus? Yeah! Cut her neck! Where are we now, Connor? We're in the time that a superhero was born. Recognize this place, new kid? A little child laying awake at night, unable to sleep. Why have you brought us here? Don't you see? This is the night, new kid. The fateful night your dad fucked your mom. He 
who walks to the mirror. Don't do this to him. But don't you see, King? This is what he wanted all along. To fix it. <sighs> you heard your mother calling for help, so you left your room. Go, new kid. You can't change the past. Of course you can. Go look. Yes! Don't you see, new kid? I've given you an opportunity. Which will you do, new kid? Fight the bad guys again? Or fight your younger self, so that you never have to witness what's behind your parents' door? Bad guys? Hey, man, look, we're just followers. What? You're the little kid with, the, like, a zillion followers, right? We just thought... Well, we thought that if you could add us, and maybe... You know, maybe we could have friends. Because we don't really have any followers. Couldn't you please add us? Oh boy, oh boy! Our moment! Our moment is finally here! Wow! It's happening! We did it, everyone! I, I'm so happy! Oh, hey, kiddo. Everything all right? G go back to bed, honey. Daddy and I are a little busy, okay? You did it! You stopped your dad! You saved your mom, new kid! <laughs> That's right! And now there's nobody left to stop me! I'm off to another team, team, team! Connor, no! Who the hell are you? I'm the coon. This is your kid from the future. Our child from the future? Oh, God. I knew something like this would happen. Our child knows we've been lying and wants some answers. You're right, kiddo. We've been dishonest but only because we wanted to protect you. The truth is, your mom and I have certain abilities, powers that normal humans don't have. I discovered mine when I was younger. One day I created a Facebook profile, and within a few hours, I had over three million followers. My powers are similar, except they only seem to work on Instagram. I got four million followers as soon as I posted my first picture. Of course, powers like that don't go unnoticed for long. Shortly after that, your mother and I were kidnapped by the government, where they had scientists spending months doing experiments on us, trying to figure out how we were able to gain so many followers so fast. That's where your dad and I met and fell in love. Inside a cold, damp government lab. Yes. By day, they ran experiments. And by night, we made sweet love. My powers combined with your mother's you received over 10 million followers the minute you were born. And by the time they cut the umbilical cord, you were already more powerful than all the Kardashians combined. That's why we had to escape, because we knew the government would use you to do horrible things. And we've been on the run ever since, moving from city to city, always trying to stay one step ahead. But everywhere we go, you just can't seem to stop gaining followers. Sometimes they even break into our house and use our toilet just to be close to you. That's why we've been putting special medicine in your dinner, sweetie, to try to curb your powers. But it didn't work. The side effects of the medicine just gave you really powerful and really smelly farts. We're sorry, kiddo. Oh my god. I feel so relieved to have finally told the truth. Me too, honey. I... You know, I don't think I need to drink anymore. And I don't need to run from my problems with pop brownies. Oh, honey. I feel like our future is going to be totally different now. I believe in us. Oh, God, Barf. What about you, sweetie? Now that you know the truth, do... Do you think you can believe in yourself, too? in downtown South Park. But where is everybody? More importantly, what period of time have we landed at? All right, let's get this thing started. Look, Butler. Today is a great day for South Park. This town has sucked for a long time, and finally Mitch Connor's gonna be sworn in as mayor. It is my honor to introduce Mitch Connor today, a man with some fucking balls find the turf shit around! You did it, Butler! It's an 
inauguration day. We can still stop Connor from becoming mayor. Let's do this! Come on! We can still stop this fucker! There he is! Guys? Y you're alive? Oh, thank God! Mitch Connor's about to be sworn in! Come on, guys, we gotta stop him! You're not going anywhere, you piece of shit! You're gonna finally admit this was all you! I am not on Mitch Connor's side, you guys! Stop this! You are Mitch Connor! Admit it, Cartman! No, I'm not, Cal! Admit it! No, Cal! I have no control over Mitch Connor! You are Mitch Connor! You've always been Mitch Connor! And you better stop right fucking now! Then how do you explain this, Cal? Well, 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 the plot thickens! That's not funny, Cal. I'm not doing it. Dude, fuck you. What's the matter, Kim? Shoes on the other hand? Cal, fucking knock it off. Why are you pissed at him? Because he's fucking making it up, that's why. I'm not making it up, dude. That's your fucking hand, asshole. Stop fucking trolling me. How is he trolling you, Kim? Because he's trying to teach me a lesson about being deceitful. Wait, so you admit you were making it up before? See, this is a troll to get me to admit I was trolling you guys. <laughs> this is just what I wanted. All the coon friends at each other's throats. Dude, come on, are you doing that? Maybe he is. Which means maybe Cartman was just doing it before. Well, will you admit it, Cartman? You see? That proves it. See what he's doing? Right? I have no fucking idea. Oh, how one little issue of mistrust can rip a team apart. Well, Freedom Pals, who do you attack? Me or the king? <laughs> Knock it off, Cal. Seriously, it's not fucking funny. Dude, I'm not doing it. Bullshit. What's the matter, Coon? You're not happy to see me? Fuck you, Cal! Yeah. Ouch! This whole turn of events has boggled even my giant brain. New rule, any damage I take goes to the coon. What? Ah, fuck! Uh, status effects too. What the, what the hell? Mitch, stop! This is cruel! No can do, human cat, it's the ruse. You son of a bitch! That didn't count. You think you can just come in here and make your own rules, imposter? Will you stop messing around, Kyle? Uh, just put your hand down. You can't defeat the real Mitch Connor. Funny, I was gonna say the same thing. Let's dance, faker. than that, Freedom Paz. Oh, this is getting fucking retarded. I agree. The only way to end this is to defeat both of them. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Ah! I'd call that an appropriate application of force. Drop it, fat ass. Tell these guys you were just fucking with me. They're gonna just keep beating the shit out of both of us. Yeah, dude, Kyle, if you're just fucking with us, we have to know. You're just making things more confusing. If I was just fucking with you, then so was he. Fine. Maybe I'll admit it. I'll admit I was just fucking with you guys. But only if Kyle admits to it first. I'm not saying anything until he does. You admit it first. All right, fine. We'll both admit it at the same time, all right? On three, we'll both say... I was just fucking with you. Fine? Fine. Okay, fine. One, two, three. I was just fucking with you. Ha ha, gotcha. Oh, you asshole. And for too long, our town has been led by a dumbass bitch mayor who never did anything to stop crime. And now Mitch Connor's gonna- All right, all right, enough talking. Just make me mayor already. It's Mitch Connor. Go on, hurry, swear me in. All right, uh, to begin the inauguration, Mr. Connor, would you raise your right hand, please? I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. Wait, wait, stop. No. What's going on here? Just finish the ceremony. Everyone, listen. 
This is all just a plan to get more crime in our town so that the Coon and Friends franchise would be bigger than the Freedom Pals franchise. Cat urine has been put into your drugs and alcohol to raise crime in the city so that the Coon would have more crime to fight. Everything was thought of by this asshole. Mitch Connor rides a fat raccoon? No, don't you get it? He did it all! Go ahead, new kid. Show them the selfie you took. Good. Now upload it to me and I'll put it on Connor's Instagram for everyone to see. What? Look, Mitch Connor's plan? Hey, they're right. You mean he was putting poison in our wine and cocaine? Why? Yeah, why? I'll tell you, eh. Because the new kid isn't the only person who had a parent get fucked. My dad got fucked when I was nine years old. What? Only two people on this stage know how that feels. Stop with that already! Shh, I want to hear this. My father will be avenged, even if it means everyone else has to die. Mitch? Mitch, it's over. Ma'am? What the hell are you doing here? I've been here all along, son. It's not your fault, Mitch. It's my fault. What are you talking about? It was me, Mitch. I'm the one who fucked your dad. Oh! What? You fucked my dad, ma'am? Why? I did it for us, son. I wanted a future for you. All these years, hunting for the person that fucked my dad, and it was my own mother? Mitch, try and stay calm. Fuck you, Coon! You may be really cute, but even you can't fix this! Did he look at you, ma'am? Huh? Did he look you in the eye when you snuck up and fucked him? Mitch, it was a long time ago! Not to me! It's every day to me! Forgive her, Mitch! Please tell me you're not buying into this. I'm gonna kill you for what you did! You just kill me, Mitch! Please, you kill me! I don't wanna live! I kill you, you kill me! I kill you, Well, thank God that guy isn't gonna be mayor. Come on, everybody. Let's go get clean drugs and alcohol from the next town over. Let's yeah! Go! <laughs> you're the Tickle Bunny. No, you're the Tickle Bunny. Oh, hey, kiddo. Been out playing with your friends, honey? This is a great town, isn't it? I love it here. I'm so glad that all those years ago we came clean about our child's past. I feel like, I don't know, like our lives are different now somehow. I love you. And I love you. In fact, kiddo, would you excuse us for a moment? Mommy and Daddy have a little business to take care of upstairs. Oh, you little sneak. <laughs> Did you really think you could stop bad things from happening? Don't you see that chaos always catches up with you? You've tried being a hero. Why not let your darker side free? There's only one truth in this life, my kid. No matter how hard you try to change the past, your dad will always fuck your mom. Ha, 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 ha.